need to convert kip fits to kip requirement welcome stream chatfish mm -hmm. so there is a poll in the chat you can vote on right now for the name of the official dominions mod for chatfish yes there's a fit an official sanctioned mod that is being produced by uh, rapier and with the help of palu um as a side thing they decided to start doing which uh is unexpected but really cool and it's a chatfish mod where we're gonna have chatfish in uh, dominions so if you would like to participate in voting on the name of the faction, feel free to do so by entering in there. Oh no, I just had a terrible idea enter my mind. Heroes could be bot. <laughs> Genius kibs, but we'll save that till we ask. So be sure to vote. And if you want, you can turn into a donor or if you'd like chat, but that is the name. You can look at them, they're adorable. There's currently a lemon fish, Lemonfish evolve into Chatfish, and then Chatfish can be given armor, or a, a, a helmet, and a little club and shield, and then what looks like a breastplate. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> and these are their attack animations down here. <laughs> As you can see, they look pretty fucking cool, actually. In actuality. So yeah, Chat. The Chatfish mod. All right, back to two, not Dominions, Final Fantasy Online. Now, where we last left off, chat, we were fucking around with some French elves. Hold on. But, Hello, Jono. Hello, Boulder. Hello, chat. Welcome to the stream, Oh, goddamn, we gotta the chat read them. I can't chat. remember all the things I'm supposed to do. <laughs> Boulder, Kamigawa, Dim, Dimmy, Dimki, Dimmy, Dimpy. <laughs> I, I would like Dimpy. Dimpy is your new name. Is it, uh, Kibbs is actually <laughs> early? No, you see, uh, Kibbs is uh, just on time. It's just that Kibbs has the, had uh, tricked me into tricking chat. Tricked you me see, into tricking chat. Mm -hmm. You see, here's the story. So, the time zone shifted here, or um, it shifted to summertime. So I was really confused about like the stream times and stuff. So I was like, oh, okay. And then I was wondering, like, hmm, I wonder when... Uh, it's going to shift where Kibbs lives. Oh so my I god. It. You're right. And it did it shift. Was like, it's 1254. We're fucking No, 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 no. No, no, no. So I looked at it and I was like, okay, so it's going to shift on the 10th. And then I talked to Kibbs about it and he was like, yeah, yeah, it's going to shift like next week or whatever. And now that I Google it, it's like, no, it shifted in March. My God, it's it been like shifted it this happened. whole time. I, yeah, I felt like it happened already. You know, when was the like stream scheduled for? <laughs> when was like I I mistook this month for being both March and May in like one week. It's, but it's April. <laughs> oh my God, I'm yeah, more confused. <laughs> oh yeah, apparently Chatfish can buy slots as heroes and commanders. But first, Chatfish must decide. The names, because we can have name chatfish heroes in the Dominions mod. That's so cool! I can milk all of the chatfish forever. I can. <laughs> Chat's like, no. Probably do it after we get like the mod done. Done. We can show it off. What about uh, custom god chassis? Oh, uh, that's what they were talking about too. Like a big bucket and like other things and a big chatfish. I was thinking the big chatfish big, should be like a super combatant. Everything. <laughs> big, well, what? A big slutty, sleppy? What? Big slutty Aerith. A big statue of Aerith. That could work because they idolize her. <laughs> they idolize. We're to watch the cheese. The bickering bunch members should be heroes. Like Binsky comes in and like he's got a little meat wagon and he throws meat at people. Falling <laughs> <laughs> well, well, them in. Mm -hmm. well, go, go ahead, uh, Robin. OWM in Final Fantasy XIV chat says, Kicks the door open. Heroes! What did he say? Fix door open? Kicks, Kicks door, door. Open. Oh, it's fucking Little Autism Boy. Yes. <laughs> little Autism. Moolah. Little chindy of OWM over here. Uh. 
Amazing Keep Japanese still, voice. Keep, yeah, yeah, we will be reading over it. Yes, <laughs> yes, we will. Why would why wouldn't we? Like now you're just gonna make it take forever. Like you should have known chat. It, it will reset after each loud. expansion. I'm saying that right now. So we'll either milk you dry or you'll give up. <laughs> All right, let's see. <clears throat> Before we can persuade Lord Drillamont to help us, it seems we must convince the Inquisitor's Guliam, Guliame, Guliame, uh, that we are not his enemy. But just how might we go about doing that? We know little and less about the good Inquisitor, despite him being such a prominent figure in Corthos. Perhaps we should learn more by speaking with the people of Whitebrim Front. Share your findings with Alphanod in the square. I'm sure he can formulate a strategy from there. Formulates a strategy from there. Wait. No, they're downstairs. Get out of your little thing. Get out of your other little thing. Oh no. Jolant. Inquisitor Guillaume. Guillaume. Uh, fuck, I hate his French names. <laughs> yes, of course. Guillaume. Jelaim, oh, oh, oh. yes, of course I know him. Alas, I have not seen him since the day he came to Whitebrim Front several moons ago. My memory is somewhat muddled, but I recall that a blizzard nearly buried us in, in snow. That day and I had f the ill fortune of being assigned to the Night's Watch. While the stronghold slept, we walked the walls and patrolled the exterior in a darkness black as pitch. My route took me outside the eastern gate, at one point where I caught sight of a silhouette illuminated by the light of the city. Thinking it was a wayward traveler, I cried out and gave chase, but slipped and took a terrible fall when I woke. It. When I woke, it was days later in this very bed where I have lain, recuperating from my injuries ever since. I had tried to rescue him, but in the end, Inquisitor Julemain, uh, Julian, don't laugh at me. <laughs> Rescued me, carrying my unconscious French body to the gates. I owe him my life, Madame, and I hope to one day repay his kindness. Wait, is there more people down here about it? Hmm? I never know where to go in this fucking little town. I just hope we're done with this thing soon enough. Cause I hate talking to French people. I hate French people. I hate the French. Okay, it's not in there, so it's probably under yeah. there. Yeah, I think so. I'm Bad. realizing that kids in kids in another area. Inquisitor Julian, Julian, I haven't the foggiest of whom you speak, unbeliever. I, we have learned of your deeds well, at Witchdrop. I will not be party to whatever dastardly schemes you've hatched against the Inquisitor. Away with you! Pardon my French, as they say. <laughs> <laughs> Under the Inquisitor, Julien watchful gaze, unprecedented numbers of heretics have been unmasked and brought to justice. They say he goes without sleep, so great is his devotion. Blessed are we to have such a righteously, a good righteous man to protect us. I have a feeling that this man ain't so righteous, that he's actually a schnitzi, in disguise. Schnitzi, uh, schnitzi. French schnitzi. French schnitzi bear. Gives you, you got, you got the, uh, you got the streamer squad following you around. <laughs> the streamer squad, as in like the, the, the bunch of ran, randoms that follow those streamers around. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> the Holy See has decreed that the Inquisitors are the arbiters of Halone's will. They are to be afforded every courtesy and the utmost respect. <laughs> Teen Metal Joints of Dollars say, "Is it fifty dollars for a slot in the Mass Effect thumbnail?" My tally Zora fish is eager to oblige. It is. There's only two slots available. Oh god, somebody wants to give me something. You better hurry up, yes. boy. Oh, Devian wants wanted to give you things. I thought Devian was small. Remember that Bulat is a, a Chunabio, so he, he plays as the tall uh, dragon race. I think I already had the otter, but I don't have whatever those are. Wind up Fafnir. Hit the button. 
We gotta make up your mind. Make up your mind. Thank you for the stuff. I guess I'll equip it because you need to use them to have them. Uh, social. Oh yeah, that's right. Inventory. Page two. Page three. Now I've got them. Now where do I go again? Back now. Left most one. Minion guide. By the way, OWM, if you didn't know this, I raised the requirements for Fury Reggie by a thousand dollars. Cause you have so many so much fucking time to fucking fund that. There we go. <clears throat> Ugh, so cold. Well, look at you. That's your job fault for being a femboy. In case you have yet to notice, my attire is ill-suited to this climate. I realized it soon after our arrival, but paid it no mind, as I had hoped we might find the Enterprise far faster. Instead, we've wasted far too much time meddling in local affairs. Ugh. Never mind, our journey is almost at an end. All that remains is to deal with this irksome inquisitor. Sid tells me you have been busy making inquiries, yes? Hmm. It should come to no surprise that he is held in high regard. Even so, I am beginning to suspect he has other reasons for hindering us now. Millennium Hawk has donated 350 rons to say, Hashtag Chikistan, Hashtag Mankind Divided. Though, Chikistan is now in the lead for 340 rons. Chikistan. And just as a reminder, chat, that's for the Dominion's faction custom named mod. Bear in mind, chat, this donor world will decide the fate of a nation, literally. Let's see. Ronald McDonald's to USD 7357. Okay, OWM, if, if you guys can manage to uh, reach the uh, furry regulon, I will also change my character into a furry. Ooh. Oh hey, no! Sure, Robin. <laughs> furry squad, ho! Furry squad. This is terrible. Let us more closely review the testimonials you obtained, Dareth. Mayhap they will provide insight into Inquisitor Julemar's in motivation. Quest complete. Okay, then. Chica stands. Something troubles me about that wounded knight's account. He claimed he fell chasing a figure in the darkness that he saw outside the eastern gate. Yes, but the main road leads to the southwestern gate. Since we arrived in White Brim, I've seen no travelers arrive by the eastern gate. Moreover, he said he glimpsed a silhouette illuminated by the light of the city, which would imply that the Inquisitor came from north of the eastern gate, not south. But it cannot be so. That way lies naught but a deep chasm. Uh, assuming Sir Jolant uh, is not misremembering the Inquisitor's behavior, that night makes absolutely no sense to, at least to me, mayhap retracing his steps will shed light on this mystery. Thank you. Uh, Polly Matthew donates uh, $50, and he says, I lack the funds to fix the audio, and I'm not fighting over a dial anyway. <laughs> you little polyfish! There's no such <laughs> thing, Polly. You're... Uh, you're gonna have to make us endure Japanese forever. Uh, now, I lack the funds to fix the audio. I mean, I'm not fighting over a dial anyways. I really don't feel like dealing with people using this game to try to torture someone when I put time and money into trying to help. Hashtag give choice. Hashtag no reset reg. No reset reg? I'm not sure what that little polyfish wants. Oh. I need, I need you to clarify that because it might mean that he doesn't want me to. He doesn't. He doesn't want the furry furry reggy. <laughs> oh, oh no! Reset reg is the uh, is the class is leading the character kid. Ah, so he's fifty dollars to reset you. No, no reset. No, no reset. Sorry, Squealy. It's no, too late. It's not happening. 
Listen, Polly, the only way for him to have fun is for him to regrind the entire game. No, yeah. <laughs> the only way for Squealy to truly appreciate what it's like to suffer. <laughs> I've, I've done that before, you fuck. Yeah, it's guess terrible. what? You'll do it again. <laughs> and you know what I'll do? I'm not allowing that for myself, but you already allowed it to be a fun goal, so you are dumb. No, I, I did not allow it. You did. No, you didn't. No, I didn't. You I did not. You did. You did. No, I didn't. You did. I did not record those. I said no. <laughs> He's been recording them. I don't worry, Chad. I am not recording them. I said no. That's if, not going to happen. If you feel you donated, I'll, I'm instantly at $10,000 of the fun goal. Here, Charlie. He's man. like, you can't do this. <laughs> not joining the name fight, says Rapier to Polly. Where do you keep going? Where the fuck is. There he is. Oh, you want to go down there. So, you want to go all the way around, Kilo. On the other side. Can I, I'll jump it. Oh, I'll make oh, it. You'll survive. Uh, it's down here. Remind you, they're, they're likely to spawn enemies. Oh, and Polly, you, don't, you do not need to make gear for the black mage I, I i can make i can gather gear on my own why can't i buy back you're, you're on your you're control. on your mount <laughs> normally it automatically no wait that's wow i was like normally when you press attack spells you're normally automatically dismounted nope. yes i think i don't so. think it does that in my life either what the inquisitor's dead He's been a ripper rooney. My god, that explains why he's such a piece of shit. In the back of my mind, my suspicion was that he's been dead. Well, he was dead. That voice is right. Because I had two voices, man. One was telling me that he was dead already and that there was somebody posing as an imposter. But I dismissed that one because it seemed like that would be too obvious to go with. And so I was thinking more along the lines of it's the ho hopefully misguided or misled approach. Well, I was wrong. Mm hmm. <laughs> Voice number one was right. Voice number two, wrong. Remember, the <laughs> Japanese love their trips. Because <laughs> I was like, imagining him being misguided or misinformed about it, and I was like, that'd be kind of a weird way to go well, about he, it. He, he had a fucking character change earlier on. He's like, make sure you go get your fucking boat, and then afterwards, like, mm -hmm. heritage. Oh. You found something, didn't you? Well, don't keep me waiting in suspense. Let's see it. Given the contents of this encyclical, I believe you have just made the acquaintance of the real Inquisitor Gillemar. Oh, French! Newly had come to Corthos and murdered on the day of his arrival. Yes, it would have been a simple thing to assume his identity, for even if he were to behave oddly, who would dare question the wisdom of a papal appointment? Still, while this is incontrovertible, Incontrovertible proof. Incontrovertible. Controversy. Controvertible. Incontrovertible. Uh, why is pronouncing that hard? Incontrovertible. I feel like I got that right. Proof. It's a problem. That the Inquisitor is an imposter. <laughs> we have yet to discern his true identity or why he has decided to oppose us. We must proceed quickly, Aerith, before he learns that his deception has been discovered. Since Lord Drillamont has already been turned against us, I fear that this encyclical alone will not serve to convince him of our claims. But what m might persuade a man so quick to disregard the endorsements of the two high houses? The cook did say that the Lord listens to and respects the opinions of his knights. If a certain knight were to provide a testimony that supports our claim, yes, mayhap that is the only way left to us to confront Sir Jolant uh, with the evidence you discovered, and see if it helps him to recall the truth of that knight. As a man of faith, he may find it difficult to cope with such hor a horrifying revelation. Nevertheless, we must do everything within our power to secure the Enterprise. I 
misread something. Let me change that. Uh... Also, you have a donation from little old OWM. OWM donates $25. Say hashtag no loot, hashtag femgar, hashtag Kibbs hates the French, French laugh. Oh, I am going, I'm going to come over to Reggie State to troll them hard for an entire month, says Odubbums. Thank you for the nation. Goodbye, Reggie. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, have Goodbye, you have returned? Is there something else you wanted to ask? The Inquisitor is an imposter. Don't be preposterous. That could not possibly be true. He's a paragon of virtue, a dedicated servant of the Fury. You would have me believe that is all a lie. If you are so certain of your ludicrous story is true, then go speak with Sir Poon Prunilla. She was at the Eastern Gate that night, and she helped the Inquisitor carry me here. But I will never speak against the man who saved my life. Why don't we just uh, bring up his dead body? Polly, <laughs> Polly, you don't need to donate to the Heaven's War thumbnail. Kibbs, Kibbs is playing to have this already. Yep, so long as Chatfish fund the daily goals, I will take care of that for you. Dean Metal's only fifty dollars. Say, let's put my tally Zora on Mass Effect thumbnail. No more Chatfish gotcha for the rest of the month. Well, maybe just a few goes now and then when there's a bounty. Hmm. Put a Chatfish bounty on Sturha. It's one. He's like, I can't even so accept far. him. Yeah, exactly. Okay, adding Harlot. Harlot. No, it's Harlot. You, I. I do not believe you. I know you, madame. Pray move along and trouble me no more. Are you in the habit of handing bloody documents to strangers? Why would you show me such a dreadful thing? I know not of it, not at all. What? Do you doubt my words? Away with you. I will suffer your slander no more. What do you doubt? Oh, we got doubt. You know, don't you? Fury, take me. I prayed this day would come. When Sir Jalot gave chase, I followed close behind. He didn't fall. One of those Dravanian abominations lashed out at him, nearly killed him right then and there. I drew my sword and rushed to his side, straining to see the enemy. But what came from the dark was not a beast, but a voice. He, he knew things about me, my, about my family, secrets I had never told another. He said that if I had kept his confidence, Sir Jalout and I would be spared. But if I defied him, everyone I loved would suffer unimaginable horrors before they died. When at last I agreed to his terms, the man came forward. His robes marked him as an inquisitor, but I knew him to be false. Together we carried Sir Jalout. To the infirmary, and on his first night in White Brim Front, Inquisitor Jolome was heralded as a hero. Soon after came the accusation of countless men and good women of good moral. Wow, you're a piece of shit. This is your fault. Standing, seized whilst in possession of draconian rosaries, as I feared, he was condemning the innocents to death. I wanted to confess to Lord Drillamont. I wanted to put an end to the madness, but then I would remember the Inquisitor's threats, and so I did nothing until Lord Francel was accused. Some time ago I followed the Inquisitor, and found that he kept draconian rosaries in a chest hidden southeast of White Brim's front, so I took several from his chest and planted them in shipments bound for Skyfire Locks, as I hoped they would be disco were discovered considered and considered evidence of a conspiracy against House Halinarte, thus exonerating Lord Francel and casting doubt on the other recent trials. And that is the entire truth, I swear. Halone, forgive me for not acting sooner. Little bucket fish, little bucket fish, fattening round because of bucket fish. Little bucket fish. Let's see. Welcome stream, little blade fish.
Oh no, Blade. That sounds terrible. What happened? Mini, Mini Blade, Blade sick, sick again. again. I now have no bed as mine is painted in chunks. Oh, oh no, gross. little blade fish! That's unfortunate, man. Well, roll around in it. There's only one way to do it. <laughs> but WM donates $25. Again, say no ludes, hashtag Femgar. Reggy, hashtag Heaven's Word. Let me just reach the dailies and we'll get there. It's full of no. French. Oh, it's full of French. So Kibbs will hate it. Reggie pulled a jewel. No, I just talked about this with Kib last night. He's like, you know, that goal isn't very hard to meet. <laughs> the destruction of Reggie is nigh, chat. Damn, says Bino. He's going to say something stupid after that. I know, I know, for sure. Reminds me of that time Bino rolled around in dead birds. <laughs> Why do you persist in this folly? I will not grant you three access to the stone vigil. Do not make me repeat myself. There had better be a very good explanation for why you were carrying these rosaries, and where did you find this papal encyclical? Fury, take me. The Inquisitor is a heretic? Never before have I heard such an unbelievable tale, but this evidence in your testimony could have no other explanation. I have misjudged you and your friends, Aerith, and for that I deeply apologize. I will permit you to enter the outpost, but first I must needs beg your assistance. Help me and my knights bring this infernal impostor to justice. That thrice damned heretic has murdered countless innocents and made a mockery of our laws. Hells take him and his Dravanian allies. I am told he makes for Snowcloak even now, intending to pass judgment upon another, yet another Pole soul, whom he branded has branded a heretic. If we hurry there, may still be time to rent further tragedy. Lend me your strength, Earth. Together let us put an end to this impostor's heresy once and for all. Oh, I was a heretic five minutes ago, and you want to talk to me. And now you're okay with it. Listen, we are French. We don't have principles. Oh. <laughs> Required the best minion in the game. How much shall the da daily is met? Squealy, speak Let true look at and forever niche. hold your peace. Uh, $188.50. You'll make it, champ. Now, where's Gordon? There it is. Gibbs is too slow. I need to run in circles. To make <laughs> run away from him. <laughs> These mounts are cute. Almost there, Chatfish. Crocodiles. Crocodiles. Good to have you with us, miss. When Lord Drillamont arrives, we are to confront the Inquisitor if he refuses to go quietly. We will need to use force. Are you prepared for the eventuality? Mm, yes. You needn't tremble so, my child. The righteous shall enjoy everlasting peace in Halone's halls. Only the wicked. But why? Why must I die by all that is holy? I swear to you that I have never questioned the teachings of Halone. Inquisitor, release the maid and come with us. My lord Drillamont, what is the meaning of this interruption? You are aware that I am at present conducting an interrogation, are you not? Silence, villain. I name the heretic, murderer of Inquisitor Jilamai. You and countless innocents. You are a traitor to Ishgard, to your own kin, kith and kin. Your sins are beyond measure, beyond redemption. Uh, 
Ah, grave allegations indeed, but you will find your logic is flawed. How can I betray that which I owe no allegiance? No, Lord Gillemont, my conscience is quite clear, I assure you. I wonder, can you say the same? That you the, whose hands are black with the blood of those whose only sins was to question your nation's crazed crusade. You speak of me, of Ishgardian innocence. Ha! All are complicit in these crimes, for all live their lives by the archbishop's lies. Uh, but I know you will not hear me, deafened by dogma as you are. If you desire retribution, Lord Gerlamont, then come, let us see how Ishgardian steel fares against Dravanian fang and claw. Wow. Kill the scaly, kill the scaly, kill the scaly. Kill the scaly, kill the scaly. Kill the heretic, no mercy, he must pay for the innocent. Uh, blood he has spilled. Ignorance, swine. Soon you will know the futility of your faith. Do we probably want to focus on his minions, or should we just keep focusing on him? Uh, kill, er, kill the minions and then kill, uh, kill him on. I don't want to move out of there. No. Uh, no. You panicked. You had no faith mm -hmm. in my power mm -hmm. to spell up your space. I don't have any faith in you, that's true. Yeah. Backpedaling. Look at this backpedaling noob. <laughs> It worked though, <laughs> because that's instant casters. Shut up! I know what I'm doing. <laughs> you see, heretic, you and your allies are no match for the might of Ishgard. How wrong you are, you are, Ishgard, and I have been blessed with power far beyond your. Tell my brothers, grant me strength to smite our enemies. Now you gotta fight big dragon and Robin. Why you looking at the little cute. I am reborn! Stand your ground, tis but an illusion. A dragon stands before you, yet still you do not flee? Your magics have no power over me, heretic. Oh no, another one. <laughs> it's a wyvern. It's a gay dragon. Draconis! Destroy him! <laughs> Be careful, Kitty. You are weak. You are fragile. I'm about to die. Huh? Better to kill him fast enough. No, it cannot be! Your health bar. Very small it is. <laughs> you had to change forms to, to kill him. <laughs> Sorry, Draconis. He had to die. No, Lou! <laughs> my glamorous, my glamorous dispelled. Your plans lie in ruin, heretic, snaps his neck. <laughs> Choose your words wisely, for they will be your last. Because <laughs> it's wheezing. Uh, uh, you may not recall the uh, many Ishgardians I have sentenced, but the families of the dead will never forget. Blood has been repaid with blood, and for that I am content. My own, my only regret is that you yet live. But your end is nigh, foreigner. The dragons within the stone vigil will rend you asunder, and when you are dead, white brim, Front shall fall. <laughs> because he's French. Feminine <laughs> death squeals. Defined to the Oh, last. I thought that was his actual death squeal. 
<laughs> what, the voice acting I did? Yeah, it was really good. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Defiance. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it feels appropriate, honestly. Defiant to the last. Leave the body for the crows. His ilk deserves not better. Aerith, I must apologize for involving you this so in this sordid business. You should never have been asked to intervene in Ishgardian affairs of state. Rest assured, I have not forgotten the matter which first brought you into our midst. It is past time that you were reunited with your airship. But this is not the place to discuss such matters. Pray visit me in, at Whitebrim, front, and bring your associates. Your saucy associates. It's the joys of going to daycare? Yeah, daycare is like the breeding ground for the diseases. All the germs, you can imagine. <laughs> Just going there and swapping diseases. Coming back home. Terrible. I'm being carried around by a little hand. By a big hand. Wait a minute. That's a save with teleport, isn't it? No. Fuck. Savage fucking ish guardians. Not even civilized. Don't even have teleports. <laughs> Don't even. They have one and it's in Dragonhead. This it's not, guardian it's not... kingdom should be burned to cinders for this. Becomes a. This is just the <laughs> suburbs. That's why they can't afford etherites. I thought they, I thought they had to build around the etherites. Because they, they land in certain areas, right? Where have you been, Aerith? Hmm, the false inquisitor has been slain, has he? Yes, well, his was a tale always like to end in bloodshed. Though you have overcome the la latest in a long line of unfortunate impediments, I would ask you not to revel in your victory just yet. We can celebrate once we have secured the Enterprise. As I am sure you will agree, it is past time that we entered the Stone Vigil. Paylor Drillamont has a, a visit and remind him of his obligations to us. Sid and I will follow in on. Oh, yes, and on. on. Fucking green, green text have ruined the word in on. <laughs> but green text should be taught in school. It should be a valid form of literary writing. <laughs> literary education. Here we are looking at the various green texts as they try to communicate with one another. Calling each other various slurs. <laughs> Very, and this recanting... One, are proper uh, and, nice. and recanting vulgar tales of their lives. <laughs> in, in today's class, we are all going to write a Be Me <laughs> green text story. Oh my god. Be Me. <laughs> We owe you all a great debt of gratitude. Had it not been for you, the heretic masquerading as Inquisitor Jules would still be among us, free to prey upon the innocent. I see now that I was a fool to dismiss your claims out of hand, but you must understand it seems too much to hope that the scions of the Seventh Dawn still lived. To say, an, to say nothing of Master Garland. <laughs> Never have I been happier to be proven wrong. Well, it is gratifying to know that someone has derived a measure of enjoyment from your error. Now, if you have no further objections, we would appreciate it if you would permit us to enter the Stone Vigil and retrieve our airship. Yes, yes, of course. It is the very least I can do, given all that you have done for us. But entering the outpost is the least of your concerns, I fear. You speak of the Javanians that now hold the ruin? In part, yes. I should explain. Shortly after you arrived, I had my men scour the old records. They confirmed that an abandoned airship had been seized by the soldiers garrisoned at the Stone Vigil in the days following the Calamity. 
As far as we have been able to ascertain, it was still in their custody when the outpost was overrun by the dragons. Whether it was damaged or destroyed during the battle, I cannot say, nor can I give you any assurances that it has not been removed by in the intervening years. For far too long has the ruins served as a Dravanian foothold in the Korthos, from which they have struck out at us with depressing regularity. Though we have pushed them back behind the walls, we have yet as yet been unable to drive them out, and I cannot say when the situation will change, or how it will change. Forgive me, Lord Jullamont, but there is no guarantee that you will prevail in any event. We have not the time to wait. We will secure our property without his guardian aid. I see. Well, that may be for the best. I will inform Sir Nath Nathalane of your impending visit. He may ha alone guide you, guide you, Science. Hello, me. I say hello, but it's actually hello, me. I, I hate when they say hello, me. It's so silly. Hello, me, baloney. <laughs> that was a joke when they were writing the language, I guarantee you. Or not language, the. Made up, made made up names. The one made up name. The upside of daycare is by the time they get to school, they are immune to everything. They're like, oh, I am a god among gods. They, they get sick for a while and then like, hmm, my, my immune system is good. Oh, wonderful. This is how babies think. True. We must continue our merry adventure, Champish. We are at a dungeon now, by the way. A Durgan. Hey, there, Lord Jillamont has. <laughs> I'll kill him. Hail, Aerith. Lord Jillamont has apprised me of the situation. You may enter the Stone Vigil whensoever you will. So is anyone coming for the stone vigil? I, I see that uh, OWM is busy. What the busy. lunar subterranean? Or is he not online? He's dead. He's floating belly up in he his little bucket. Had, he probably only had time <laughs> to give kids the items that he wanted. He had. Maybe, or maybe not. Who knows? We don't know. Give him a minute. Now, kid, while we're waiting, look at the little minion of light because I think it's cute. Stone Age, they didn't rework it a lot, but they did rework it a little bit. They changed like they changed one boss, the one where you shoot cannons, and then they nerfed the final boss just like a teeny tiny bit for like no reason. It's a, the final boss is really easy. <laughs> the uh, from what I looked up about, about the game, uh, as far as people's opinions on the dungeons. They really hate the hard mode for this for this one, and they hate uh, Arm Veil. I, I get the hatred for Arm Veil because it's kind of eh. the only the only thing people have an issue with Arm Veil is that for like newbie tanks, it's really easy to accidentally pull too much. Otherwise, it's pretty much just a normal well, like, No, it's, it's actually really easy. It's just that the start of it's fucking annoying because of how much uh, is in like, with that one room before the boss fight. <laughs> My god. We're missing one party man. It's over. Hashtag. Then it's over. See. Little uh, Boolat, aka Old Double M's. He's a. Uh... He so decided to be a little o double M's and do a dungeon. Race. So, Ban. Who's Bannon. available, Chapish? That's a good question. That moment when no one is Ripperoonies. Uh. Victoria just logged in. Imkilis. Oh yeah, that that that's that is uh, Dim kills. Maybe he hasn't unlocked it either. 
Can you join though? He's of, you cannot he's of, join. He's of appropriate level. He might be doing the quest right now. You can only do tank as always. Okay. Um. Um. Like, do you want to play healer or do you want to play DPS? I don't care. What do you want to play? <laughs> um, I can play either. That's not, I'm asking for your preference. Uh, again, I've played like six million hours of this game, so. But, um, what level is this dungeon? It's level forty-one. What do I actually have? I can play Dragoon. Dragoon bin. And then you can fail to keep Dimkulis alive, and we can all laugh. Why, why would I fail? <laughs> I'm actually pretty good at healer. <laughs> I do the one thing a healer needs to do. Heal when he needs to. <laughs> you have like one button at this point. <laughs> I have two buttons. I have I have cure and I have uh, regen. Yep. <laughs> Immense. Shatfish. I'm available, says Bino, who's only level 19. Little silly baby Bino. Good to know, Bino. I will note, though, I, I would suggest not mm -hmm. pulling. Yep. What? Yeah, I heard you. I would suggest not pulling the uh, the ice sprites along with other uh, groups because those fuckers hit hard. It doesn't matter how much I heal him; he he will probably die. <laughs> well, if he dies, he dies. If, if he, he dies, dies, he dies. <laughs> <laughs> the main the main thing here is that. He might take too much damage, because he's not expecting it, because he has shitty gear. So this this pull right here might be a wipe. <laughs> oh shit. Wrong spell. Oh, warrior. Oh my god, heal him! Drop all of your skills. Save him! <laughs> Save him! We're all gonna die, aren't we? No, he's, he's surviving. Fun. Now tell me I'm at the top of the damage number for pressing five. Tell me now. No, I don't Binsky. have it turned on. Binsky! I haven't done any damage. <laughs> so you're at least gonna be me. I'm pretty good at pressing uh, the one AOE button, so <laughs> I'll turn it on. <laughs> Press my it buttons. is funny that the fucking Dragoon has like one AoE in, in Realm Reborn, that's funny. <laughs> I'm it's it's AOE. actually like the norm. The it's AOE hard. stuff is very like every hard. other class I've had is, is that has good AOEs except for Dragoon. <laughs> then again, like I think Black Mage is probably an exception. No, I mean all you need is one AOE button, and all the classes get. To at least He's one just AOE running. <laughs> okay, good. He didn't run too far. You can use Swift Cast to cast Cure 2 on the run too. I know. Alright, wrong abilities. There we go. I'm doing 190 DPS, Aerith is doing 132, and Arcoria Art, Art, is doing 132. I've done zero. So I've been healing him the entire time. <laughs> oh, you're doing 12. Yeah. <laughs> so here, Kibbs, when he runs away, you have to run up to the boss and run behind him. Like, do not stand in front of him at the very least. Or, uh, Asuna. There's Asuna. I had to remember everything, everything is in my bar because I'm playing, I'm playing fucking Black Mage. <laughs> Oh, I fucked up my rotation. Now you'll be destroyed, Vinsky. Oh, Vinsky. Sad Vinsky game. 
dead Vinsky game and now he got murdered by his own Vinsky ways. <laughs> I will say once I get once you get holy with white mage, it becomes a very very different playstyle. <laughs> holy is why I like playing white mage. Because yes. you can just you go you the, the tank pulls like everything, you go in, use holy, and then you put up region on every, them, every, and you use everything. holy holy and they're just like perma stunned for seven yep, seconds. Everything stunned. <laughs> you have to pause though, after the first one. Because otherwise you stun them again before the stun runs out properly. Medica, Medica two is also pretty, pretty nice as a skill. Just gives regen to your whole party. No, I, I told you not to grab the fucking little those frights. Those just use your, uh, just use your turbo casting spell. Oh. They do so much fucking damage. <laughs> Jeffish. He taught that fish. Trying to press all the buttons in the right order while I'm trying to remember what the fuck I'm doing. I'm I am out of men. Sharp stick. Uh, no, ACT is perfectly fine. Literally everybody uses ACT. <laughs> ACT? Yeah. That's called Advanced Combat Tracker. It's for tracking the the DPS. Oh. Like every, every single semi-serious raid guild uses ACT. Like, it's 100% fine. And this one, it's pretty straightforward. He summons don't tornado. Stand in for the tornado. Uh, <laughs> just don't. You, you realize how hard that is for some of fucking people. <laughs> oh yeah, I've seen people die here. Like, <laughs> it's like move out of the mechanic. I don't think I will. I'm also dead. I cast rock and rock. Rock. No, you cast stone. Big rock. The soldier gets the membership. Thing with the gifted membership lands on Drunk Mouse. He's now a bucket fish. Thank you very much. Thank you for the gifted membership. Very generous. Deathless fish. Very generous and guy eater. Super Robin game. And then we go in and we pass on everything. <laughs> oh. 
see new gear. I got oh, yeah. new glovies. Actually, speaking like the tank gear for this area is actually not that bad looking. You're not bad looking. Thank He's you. like, no. Thank you. Squealy really needed that. <laughs> Squealy. Really did. She was squeal pressed. <laughs> Squealy hates the ice sprites. Squealy wishes we didn't pull the ice sprites too often. <laughs> they do hit hard, but it's fine. As long as he has his uh, defensive cooldowns. Garpstick? Oh! Oh, you do? Oh, he lucky guy. He received the membership, I think. Oh, wow. a soldier. You land on Sharpstick. Now he can use Sharpfish emojis. Wow. Target. Bad target. Need more men. Out of rage. That spell is recharging. <laughs> Can't do that yet. No, I don't know if they changed this, but there's a long story sequence here. Here's the yes, there is. Look, it's the Enterprise. Yes, just beyond that enormous sleeping dragon. Just having a little chat right in front of him. The dragon is not our concern. We have come for the airship, and only the airship. Sid, you and I will sneak aboard the Enterprise and prepare it for launch. Earth, you stay here and keep an eye on the beast. If it wakes up, we may need to provide you with a, a, dis a dissatisfaction. distraction until we uh, are ready to depart. You can manage that, can't you? That settles it then, shall we, Sid? As you command. Waddles. Who waddles away? Is Sneaky Bicky past the dragon? It's the casual stroll uh, variant of Sneaky. He's like, So you mean to slay Garuda next? Interesting. Most interesting. He's a nerd, by the way. I him la habria, the fucking nerd. Mm. Disappears. <laughs> oh, I'm over here now. And you are aware that her strength greatly exceeds that of your previous primal conquests. A testament to the fanatical devotion of her followers, of the excellent nothing if not zealous. In spite of your past achievements, I labored to believe that you will best this foe. Yet only a fool would underestimate the bringer of light, slayer of Ifrit, bane of Titan. If any mortal capable is capable of defeating the Lady of the Vortex, it is you. Aye, Lahabriha, with a weird name. Win or lose the battle should at least make in for an entertaining spectacle. Assuming, of course, you live that long. Yes. I'll just wake her up for you. Me. Alpha Dot, the dragon. Confound it all. I'm going to disappear now. And then he's gone. Oh no, he's still there. God damn it, do your little thing you do. It would make me look dumb. <laughs> I have one final thing to say. Let us see how your blasphemous gifts serve you this time, Crystal Bearer. <laughs> you know, you're cringe. 
Grog asks, hmm, Grog, I have a question. Game worth getting into is free to play? Absolutely. Yeah. The, the only thing you can't do as free to play is create groups, but you can still join uh, like dungeons and stuff. And there's like 400, 500 hours of content for free. And you're barely restricted in any way that matters. Yep, you can engage with the uh, single-player story as well. By just doing the primary story quest and class quests. Now to read what other game to posted. $75, Sem no ludes, Femgar, Reggie, kid's reaction when his ancestry is French, French laughs. Is Jobber for Star Skittles. It's not true. It can't be Jobber for me. Do we need to make kids take a DNA test? <laughs> What? Mm -hmm. To check his ancestry. <laughs> what? Why do you want to check my ancestry? What the fuck? Oh god, no. you're French. I'm not French. <laughs> Why do you I stand almost there? died. <laughs> you hurt me. <laughs> I was looking at chat. <laughs> a wound to you is a wound to my mana. <laughs> It felt like this guy was too slow when I, when I was doing him for my leveling. Oh, he's gonna do Durgan stuff. Durgan, 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 Durgan. Most MMOs that are free to play are worth getting into for the single player content. Most that I've played. Well, not all of them. Like, this one is worth it. I just realized that as I thought about the list. I was like, most of them are, I'm like, no, no, most of them bad, actually. Like, War Thunder? No, don't, don't play that. Enlisted? Don't play that. <laughs> Fucking Lord of the Rings Online? Don't play that either. Well, the, there is... The, the, I will say that if you want to play them for the, sing, for the story, then yeah, sure. Mm. But 99% of them <laughs> are not worth playing. For the most story. of them stories are bad. And most of the, I and think you're gonna play Ragnarok online for the story. I put Final Fantasy up there with Swotor for me, where it's got a really compelling story. Because now that it's this, starting to pick this up. Attack, this yeah, attack, this attack, before, this this is where the, the like the only time thing that they nerfed with the boss. Ooh. Oh, really? Before that created ice patches on the ground that lingered, oh. and the dragon would do like two attacks. Oh no, it still does two attacks here. Never mind. That makes sense. For some reason, they nerfed that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. People were bitching about this. It's dodging a lot, so. Oh. Well, Gibbs is dead. <laughs> I didn't even know. Now. I'm gonna revive Kibbs before we leave the dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know he'd do that. I was like, yeah, I think I'm fine. He's almost dead. You and then Kibbs gets don't you don't speech. actually have to revive him. Uh, if he's dead here at the end, if he just clicks the re revive button, it's gonna just put him here. I think that's my first death. Mm -hmm. Now you have to delete your character. <laughs> yep. Return he to the starting the point. He lost, he lost the primitive death. Grand Kibo. I lost the what? He lost the primary death run. All right, gotta restart. Just like, no. <laughs> Let's prioritize right. his corpse. I will say, almost all of the reworks that I've seen so far, as I've been playing through leveling Dragoon and stuff, almost all of it has been for the better. So I'm not, I'm not really complaining about the reworks. It's just some of them are like, why? I don't know. It, like it, it's not like it was hard before, and it's not like it matters. But it's just kind of weird. Make sure you equip your new gear, Kibbo. You got a new hat. Put it on. They changed bad. certain bosses for duty support because the NPCs couldn't do certain mechanics. That makes sense. Nice to see you, too, Grug. Little Grug, son of Grug. How are your rocks doing? He's a gum baby gum. <laughs> I love my pet rock. My pet rock's great. I think both of them are moving over to Gridania after this. New shiny rock obtained. One shiny rock to go.
It feels really random that you get a crystal here. I don't really you, understand you, why you, you didn't get a crystal beat, here. You didn't, you didn't beat a primal. You just killed a dragon and got a crystal. <laughs> it felt like they didn't have enough budget for another primal, so they just gave you one here. <laughs> there, there, are you all right? Speak to me. A little smile. JK, well, <laughs> to help me praise, I feared the beast had injured you. I see now why the others rated you so highly. When you were caught in the midst of the Aetheric bubble with the dragon, I was all but certain my next mission would be to find a new champion. Well, thanks for the fucking vote of confidence. Thank the gods for sparing me at that inconvenience. I have quite enough to do already, which reminds me, Sid was working on the Enterprise. As we speak, let us go and see what he has to say. What say you, Sid? Will she fly? Yes, though it will not be a pleasant ride. Well, I dare say it will be no more unpleasant than staying here. Tis a pity the Enterprise is not in a better state, but if she will allow us to quit this place, I shall not complain. If all are in agreement, let us return to Gridania. Though I would like nothing more than to set a course for the Howling Eye. It is plain the Enterprise is in no condition to weather the storm. She must needs be repaired if we are to proceed with our mission. There's a little Bendio. Also, Bendio, the reason why I sent you the overlay is because I wanted to talk to you about it now that you're here. Notice how if you look at the stream, the overlay is a little bright. Tone down the brightness and make the black stuff transparent. Because I'm going to have an animated fish tank behind it. I'm talking to Beebert. This is all so familiar. I, I know this airship. If I could just... Bah, it's no use. Let's go. Oh, uh, yeah, Enterprise found. Cheddar, well, cue the Enterprise uh, TNG opening theme. What the fuck? Also, have a good night, OWM. Good night, little OWMs. Well, actually, not a good night, but have a good nap. I hope I still have the file. Grabs Indio and starts braiding him. He's like, no. He plant, 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 plant. I was going to even suggest toning down some of the little golden lines so, so for fewer of them so that you could see the fish tank behind. I was thinking of making a different layer and then having little things that wiggle around behind it. Just so that's animated and wiggly. Ah, Mo, how have I... I have longed for the more agreeable climate of Twelveswood. Yet I will not deny the Holy See had its charms. Endless detours aside, our Ishgardian jaunt proved quite an adventurer. Alas, our work is far from done. We still have an airship to repair and a primal to slay. No rest for the heroic, eh? That's what we call a little floaty boat that flies in the sky. It's an air shield. Dog. It calms me to look at her. It's as though I've been reunited with a part of uh, with a part of me I never knew was missing. How surprising you did design and build her. I bear good news. The Seed Seers have granted our, re our request to house the Enterprise. We may take as long as we require to repair her. 
Of course, it would rank folly to take one moment more than we require. Garuda, lest we forget, grows stronger by the hour. If we are to have any hope of wrestling this benighted realm from her talons, it must needs be soon. Though I am not expert on the workings of airships, it seems plain to me that the Enterprise has suffered much from her time in the wilderness. And I'm, am I not correct, uh, Sid? I said Sidrid. <laughs> you are frankly, you are. Frankly, it's a miracle she carried us this far. As you know, the Howling Eye is encircled by a raging tempest apt to turn proud trees to matchwood. Our battle will end before it begins if the Enterprise cannot weather the storm. Given time, I believe I can fully repair her. But if this tempest I, is as I fear, as fearsome as you say, even that may not be enough. <sighs> Confound it! There must be a way, a, a way to brave the fury of the elements. The elements, but of course, that's it. We work upon the elements itself using. Okay, weird. Someone tried to trade someone with me, I think. We work upon the elements itself using the power of a corrupted crystal. We could clear a path through the storm and spare the Enterprise a battering. I see. You propose to utilize the properties of a crystal to alter the elemental aspect of the barrier. It seems so childishly simple in retrospect. Though may hap not to you, Aerith, for you are dumb. For <laughs> you are dumb. Wow. We speak of the manifestations of over-aspected ether that can be found throughout Ezria. Since the calamity disrupted the land's etheric currents, such crystals have become comparatively com commonplace, which has been cause of great woe, as they are known to warp etheric energies, including those of living organisms. The point is, we could use the we could theoretically use a corrupted crystal to convert the wind aspected ether comprising of Garuda's barrier into ether of another aspect, one she cannot control. Which, with certain modifications, the Enterprise should be able to deliver us to the Howling Eye in comfort. However, hard Garuda blows. But we are getting ahead of ourselves. All of this rests upon the, our ability to procure a crystal with the necessary properties. Have you any idea where one might acquire one? No, but I know a man who might. A scholar by the name of Lember Lembertiant, uh, who resides <laughs> in Camp Drybone. Lembertiant? How do you pronounce that? I don't think he's... I don't think he's... I think it's just like Lembertiant. <laughs> Lembertiant... These names are special. Just weird. <laughs> Strange as it may sound, I met him during my time at the church. Well, Marquez met him. I suppose whether out of pity or for want of a more willing listener, he would w talk to me for hours at a time, his etheric studies, corrupted crystals, being his pet subject. It was as a result of these conversations that poor Marquez obser was observed to possess an uncommon knack for theoretical science. Erith, I need you to return to Thanalan and seek out this scholar. Sid and I will set about repairing the Enterprise in your absence. And so we teleport. I'm just picking up the edgy class. Samurai? No, no, no. Samurai is not nearly as edgy as a reaper. Reaper. A reaper. <laughs> hmm. Why, yes, I am Professor Lebertiant. Beg pardon. You wish to hear about my research on corrupted crystals? Truly. Well, nothing would give me greater pleasure than to discuss my work with a fellow woman of science. Science! Ah, so rare it is to find fellow intellectuals in this region. Tis even rarer to find one capable of comprehending the nature of corrupted crystals. Come to think of it, it was there was another, a hermit, 
to whom the church had given sanctuary. Curious fellow, unsociable, rather daft at first impression, yet possessed of an amazing affinity towards the scientific pursuits. But to the matters at hand, did you say you wished to not conduct field observations, but to harvest a corrupted crystal? A god's woman, at least take the necessary precautions so that you do not suffer from exposure to its harmful energies. I'm beginning to wonder if you've sufficient qualifications to handle such hazardous materials. I just like to imagine they just slapped you. <laughs> <laughs> Still, your ignorance is somehow endearing. Luckily for you, I have precisely the means by which these inherent dangers may be averted. Simply store the crystals you seek within this awarded pot to protect yourself from its de de deleteri deleterious effects. Though I suppose you'll be bombarded with its energy. It's bitch cake. Mm. <laughs> Grabs them, puts them into a banana, zips it up. Energies no. until you place it within the vessel. Well, perhaps it shall motivate you to work quickly. In any case, take the pot uh, to, ha ha to Hahasako, uh, a student of mine, monitoring the flow of ether to at Highbridge. Explain to him your quest, and he shall instruct you in the finer points of crystal harvesting. Crystal <laughs> harvesting. What is Reggie good for? Rape bait. He's like, no. <laughs> Squeal bait. Shark bait. Ooh -ah. Shark bait. Ooh -ah. Fine Nemo was pretty good. That's good. Fine Dory wasn't. I don't even. I forgot that even was a thing. That's like Incredibles. Incredibles is a great movie. Incredibles 2, not so much. Toy Story Two's 1, 2, are... or good. Toy Story 2 is good. See? I found a 2 that wasn't terrible. Gotcha, Binsky. Well, 2 was before, <laughs> the, before the I mean, I can't comment games, on it because I didn't watch Toy Story 2. Oh, I didn't? Toy Story is pretty good, no. Toy Story 2 has, uh, I have the PlayStation 1 game. I remember playing the crap out of it as a kid. That's back when like movie games and stuff were like amazing, or had the ten the tendency to be amazing. You have the the capacity. <laughs> That's also because a lot of those movie games were licensed and had official support from the studios and stuff like that. How many times must I be made to explain myself? I'm not contemplating suicide, you imbecile. I have chosen this position precise position to perform scientific measurements. Bunch of off ledge. Hey! <laughs> potato. What have we here? A containment vessel? Why, this is the handiwork of a Professor Lambertiant. You thieving knave! I should call for the. Oh, you say the man himself lent it to you. Then you must have sought me out per his instruction, which means he believes me experienced enough to expound upon his explanations. At last, the recognition I so rightfully deserve. Hold, ladies, hold! I have no idea what that's about. <laughs> it's the event going on behind us. You got level up, Kibo. Did. Oh, frabjuous day. Kalu, Kale. That I should be chosen to guide this woman. Yes, I, Hahasako, greatest of Professor Lambertian's pupils, shall see that you successfully quarry your quarry. Your timing is impeccable. In fact, for I was just preparing to procure corrupted crystals from the burning wall for my personal research. The music is not really matching the time. <laughs> like, I love it. <laughs> there are the devastating destruction caused by the calamity has blessed us with a bounty of sublime specimens. But something tells me that not but a perfect piece will satisfy your high standards, in which case you must needs descend the, to the depths amidst the flowing waters and murderous mirror nights lies the most fantastic formation I have found thus far. Take this highly advanced researcher's tool and use it to separate a small fragment from the large cluster. Place it within the warded pot and bear it back to me for inspection. 
The path which leads from Burgundy Falls to the base of the Burning Wall is treacherous and terrifying, but advance with an appropriate caution, and you shall surely survive. And so it was that I began my journey, waddling to and fro for eternity. I don't really know where I'm going. Oh my god, that's far away! Oh my god! Yeah, that is kind of far. I've always thought about moving the Aerith Avatar model to the right-hand side of the screen, but I feel like that'd be a bad idea. I figured I'd ask you. It would probably be, like, based on whatever game. It obscures less gameplay space if I move over there. But at the same time, I mean, it also really creates a depends. negative space on the left, so I don't know. Yeah. I the reason why I placed it there was to offset the chat box activity on the right. Because there'd be just too much movement on one side of the screen. look like visual vomit. I think I stand by the decision to be on the left-hand side. Let's go to the bottom left of most video games is not actually filled with the most pertinent data. No. Like, normally it's like health bars or other information sometimes displayed there, but usually yeah, like it's not there used. Down there is, is your chat. That's it for this game. Can I... No, I don't think that's a good idea. Oh, wait a second. This level... This character is... That's level 33. There you go. Now they won't murder me on sight. Binsky, no! I mean, I'm Squealy, whatever, same thing. Squilinski. Now it sounds kind of Polish. <laughs> Squilinski. It's me, Squilinski! Squilinski. That's, uh, that's true. That's true. I'm not sure, but I feel like I'm going in circles. I think you might need to go. No. You. Keep going. Keep going where? Over here. Yeah. Um, I don't know. The map says down. Binsky! So. Mm. What are you doing, Binsky? Not all the way down there. What am I doing? I'm flying yeah. around. Why are you doing that? Why not? She has ability to. I'm like you. Why do you do that? Quickly. This BB Binsky. Where's the BB all right, BB you know BB? what? Fuck it. I'm taking a leap of faith here. No! You can't jump. You can't leap, you know. You have to go all the way around. There's gotta be way off this fucking thing. Who? Why do they do this? What? Wait, maybe. No. This way. This way. This way. They're going the wrong way. Where's he? Where's he? He grabs him. He eats him. He's just gone. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. Honestly, I think the map is more confusing than anything else. I don't know where you're going here. Oh, there. Yeah, right here. This is correct. Later, Raconis. Why is Conus always popping off now so frequently? Why is he such a little traitor? Yeah. All right, now to get out of this hellhole. Um, can you just teleport? I don't know if that's faster. It's definitely faster to teleport to Dry Boss. Shadowfish! Like Shadowfish are scared. Uh, 
Alright, let's see. Wrong way, god damn it. Sometimes you just wish it was closer. <laughs> Just fly. Easy. You can Easy. fly it. Easy. I know. Lemon squeezy. <laughs> it appears while classic cataclysms is May twentieth release. Hmm. We've got time. Sure about that? May twentieth. That's a month. Did they just Sorry. reschedule it? Good thing we increased the Final Fantasy streams. <laughs> Once they're just streaming on May twentieth, considering how bad the fucking launches are for Blizzard. It doesn't matter. Should stream it on launch no matter what. I see you've come galumphing back. Have you the crystal then? What a prodigiously large and lovely crystal. Professor Lambertiant will doubtless shortly with joy when you present it to him in person. Oh, and upon your return, do remember to recount how I helped you with your harvesting. <laughs> Oh, okay. Poor little squealy. All squealed out. The press a button. Yeah, Harlot, you can't play on, on US servers in WoW without buying the game again, but it's not expensive to buy just the base World of Warcraft. It's, it's cheap. I don't know, this didn't cost anything. My keen scholar senses tell me that you've obtained a corrupted crystal, am I right? If you would grant me a moment to examine the crystal. Ah, it is as you desired, a corrupted crystal overflowing with a wind-aspected ether. Hmm, remind me for what purpose did you intend to use this crystal again? What? To breach a barrier comprised of wind-aspected ether? Oh dear, that may prove problematic, as this crystal would only serve to strengthen the barrier. I suppose I'm at fault for not inquiring as to your objectives from the start. Had I known your intent, I would have never have sent you to Hasako. Hasako. But what is science if not trial and error? And can you truly say that this failure has taught you nothing? Think, woman. You now understand the method. So, <laughs> the fact that you say, woman. You now understand the methods necessary to safely collect a corrupted crystal. You will doubtless have no difficulty doing so once more. What's more, the crystal you collected can serve as an invaluable resource for the ethereal studies conducted by the students of Bel Belgiusilm. You've heard of them? Well, I don't mean to boast, but I have, professional, I have a professional relationship with the organization. Not as equals, of course. I would never be so bold to claim that level of expertise. Are you all right? Your eyes seem to have glazed over for a moment. Anyway, I shan't keep you from your task. You've still a corrupted crystal to find. Corrupted crystals of sufficient size and strength are not all that common. I fear, fortunately, one of my students, Sayana, claims to have discovered another promising site in the eastern La Nocia. Wait, that's not correct. Eastern La Nocia uh, was where she was nearly killed when wandering too close to an imperial castrum. <laughs> now that made for an amusing anecdote. 
It was Western Lanosia, Pharos Sirius, on the Isles of Umbra, to be precise. I can recall her exact reasonings, reasoning, uh, something to do with one of Dalamud's talons or some such nonsense. What I can say for certain is that she is still in Aleport, attempting to gain access to the Isles. Why not travel there and see if Kena's inquiries bear fruit? If you can look past the crass and violent ways of the local pirates, you might find your time there to be quite pleasurable. Oh, and do not forget to take your makeshift warded pot, lest she think you unprepared for the task. I find it funny that the terrestrial mounts, uh, they, they fly like reindeer. <laughs> yeah, they just hover. There she is. Yeah, Corrupted Crystals? Madame, I've no interest in being the butt of your jokes. So, if you've no other reason for addressing me, kindly leave me be. Well, I'll be damned. Professor Lambertian did send you. Beg your pardon. It seems we got off on the wrong foot. I am Sienna, greatest of the professor's pupils, which is the, what they all say, which is doubtless why he bid you seek me out. I am an accomplished scholar with an existence background in... Oh, oh God, just listen to me prattle on and on. I must have given this introduction but a dozen times by now. Paper says, you can probably close the poll. I don't think anyone's going to fight against Chikistan. So far, it does not look like anyone wishes to fight against Chikistan, which means the Dominion's Chatfish Race faction, which is being modded in, will be Chikistan. As I told you, is Professor... Is Chikistan winning, though? Both it was donated for me and my oh it was donated for oh, fair people enough. can contest it if they so desire i'll put it that way if anyone wishes to contest it now is the time to do so if not forever hold your peace as we i are. told the professor in my mini miss go ahead really you are 154 dollars away from tomorrow's goal Good job, Chaffish. In my many missives, I believe that the area surrounding Ferro Sirius is replete with corrupted crystals of exceptional strength Unfortunately, I have yet to test my hypothesis, as all access to the Isles of Umbra is prohibited at present, for reasons unbeknown to me, or unknown to me. You see, my attempt to acquire this information are often met with annoyance and disdain. It's rather puzzling, since I always take the time to explain my motivations in great detail to the subjects of my questioning. Mayhap you will have better luck resting, resting information from these yellow jackets. I've all but given up at this point. There we go. Ah, you startled me. Don't you know better than to sneak up on a person at a time like this? What with all the f the fatuous gossip of spirits and specters haunting the Isles of Umbra? Just because I know it's nonsense doesn't make it any less frightening. What a fucking in, whore. In, in case you were uh, Be mean getting work. upset because there were not enough filler quests for a while... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I figured this is one of those. That's why I'm reading fast, if you can't tell. You're keen on traveling to the Isles of Umbra. Bloody hell's less. Are you drunk? Just Or just crazy? Ain't nothing there but death and death and more death. Oh, the top of the morning to you. A lot of death, dude. You look like an adventurer who gets around. Mayhap you have noticed the corals and jackals at each other's throat as of late. I've never seen anything quite like it, and the bloodshed only worsens by the day. If this continues, I dare say that one of these groups will wipe out the other before long. Now it bears mentioning that this species of coral isn't native to Vilbrand. By rights, they should be, shouldn't even be here. Nay, I believe they were smuggled. I know of a merchant who may have had a hand in these dealings. Her name is Rakontai. And, after some probing, I've come to believe she's somehow involved. I would question her myself. But she is like to flee at the first sight of yellow. That's where you come in. 
I need you to speak with her and learn all you can. Take a look around. She's bound to be nearby. I think they shortened it at the very least. No, they no, removed. Long. They removed Lundquist. Okay. Which is still like fifteen minutes or something, but. What the hell? I think you want to. I think you want to go below. You oh yeah, it's down. Yep, I remember because I've been here and did this before. At least you can jump in the game now. You're not jump before. In final, no. In one point oh, you couldn't jump, uh, and they had a, they had an interview with someone, and they were asking like, why can't you jump? And they were like. Because there's nowhere to jump. Like, they hadn't designed the game for, like, jumping at all. So they were like, eh, we don't need to have that shit. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Yes, Vumbra. What interest have you in that godforsaken place? Ever since we were forced to abandon Fedosiris, the isles have become not from more than a graveyard for ships, unable to navigate the shores, and pur a purgatory for the souls dragged down to the depths with them. My god, little shadowfish. How could this happen to Keebs? He made his mistakes. Got yeah, nowhere to keep run. Keep days go by, but bucket fishies no. Rest, Rev asks, how are you, you and Robin doing? As well as, as well as myself, I already answered that. And he also said, oh, and Kibbles too, <laughs> groggy guess. I'm fine. Going good for all the boys in town. Just forgot to do something at all. God damn, it's all the way up here. Ah, Aerith, you've returned. Tell me of your findings. But really, infested with the d undead, you say? That, that is very, very interesting development. Excuse me for a moment while I gather my thoughts. Well, worry not, my friend. I've given your findings some thought, and I've concluded that this talk of spirits is not more than local folk folklore. As for why all travel to the Isles of Umbra is restricted, well, mayhap it's considered too dangerous, owing to the abandonment of Ferrocirius. Yes, well, anyway, while you were questioning these yellow jackets, I paid a visit to the local pub, since even an esteemed scholar like myself enjoys dulling her wits on occasion. It was there that I met her tale of a man named Skyfron, who had, was recently detained after returning from, wait for it, the Isles of Umbra. This is the first I've heard of someone actually traveling to and from there, so I'm curious as to how he obtained permission, mind having a chat with him in my stead. He was arrested after all, so I'm somewhat reticent to approach him myself. Wretches and Bucketfish. Oh. I don't know why I walked to that person, but I did. Back and forth I go. Talking to people about little tiny subjects. <laughs> Very fun. I I have to go back. She calls to me, sings to me. Uh, tell Mimodia me Doa, I'm sorry. Give him this. He was he was right, or 
Or you could release me? Yes, yes, release me. I will go and tell her. Let me go, let me go to her. I'm so much reticent to tickle Bensky. <laughs> After last time. You dare? What? Last time we tried tickling Binsky, he tooted. Big toots. Gave him too many beans. Let's call him, oh, no. We call him Beansky now. <laughs> it's quite horrible when you think about it. Level 42. We continue to revel up. We are actually... Uh... Nearly caught up, but I think you won't catch up too much. What the, did the Skyfrin have to say? Hmm, that's not terribly helpful. I couldn't care less how much he misses his favorite bar winch. But what was that about a man named Min Mimidoa? Wait, I know that name. That's that bastard who grabbed my arse the other day at the pub. Well, if you want to give him that feather, be my guest. I'm not going anywhere near him and his wandering hands. He grabbed his her cheeks. I think. Give the peach a uh, pinch. I think after Oops, wrong Garuda, way. we should have Kibbs do his uh, class quests. Maybe. 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 He's almost level 45. Might be time. Maybe. Maybe. Hmm, possibly. No, another initiate, are ye? No, then what are ye? Speak up, Missy. I can't hear ye. Eh, bugger me. Is this what I think it is? Nah, couldn't be. Ye found this, ye say where? Where did ye say ye found it? Scray, friend, say ye say. Was hoping to have a word with the lad, but it sounds like there's not left twixt his ears. He was supposed to help patch up Pharaoh Sirius. He was company sent me to supervise the lot of them. They weren't getting work done on their own, see? Half of them walked off, half of them ran off, and half of them up and vanished. What's that? Ye be looking for passage to the Isles of Umbra? Why didn't ye say so? I've been thinking o' dispatching someone to take a look on me behalf. Old Mimidoa tell him how the land lies. Ain't nobody been interested till you came call came a calling. Oh, ports up in arms about spirits and so forth. If I had the gill, <laughs> I'd hire yeah. some cell sword and let him sort it out. But you'll do it in a pinch. You will show this parchment to the skipper, and he'll see ye there and back. <laughs> see you there and back. He will uh, tip it to you. Yar. Also, imagine getting your ass grabbed by a fucking uh, lollipop. He just squeezes like this ass <laughs> is the size of my body. <laughs> That's all he says to you. You're like, thanks. So, you went and had a word with Mimidoa. I hope the valuable time you saw fit to waste amounted to something. You mean that disgusting creature uh, was Skirfren's superior? I find that hard to believe, but this writ of passage does appear to be genuine, so it must be true. I must say it is a relief to work with such an industrious woman as you. I look forward to hearing of the discoveries you will make on the Isle of Umbra without me. <laughs> fine, fine. I fail to see the justification for dragging me along on your journey, but if you insist, I will go as well. But twelve as my witness, if you leave me behind to be devoured by some horrid abomination, I, I shall come back to haunt you. Oh, holy shit. The, I think this questline was actually potentially one of the first times I stopped playing the game. <laughs> Because it is so grating. Like, I, at, I, at this point, when I was like, when I realized this was also filler, I was just, I started skim reading the dialogue. <laughs> ha! Take me to the Isles of Umbra, she bids, as if it is as simple as, oh, you see you've got a writ of passage. All right then, climb aboard.
Th this doesn't seem all that bad. I'm not saying I'd like to build a summer home here, but... Oh, the hell's with this. Here, take your pot and go on without me. You've harvested corrupted crystals before, right? So it isn't as though you require my assistant. Speak to me, the, to the man guarding the gate. I'm sure he'll let you in. Now, if you would excuse... Please excuse me. Harlot the Bone Tea Hunter gifts a membership. Name of the gifted membership. Lands on Gramnola. Beg your pardon, madame, but how did you come here? Access to this island is currently restricted. An old pot. I'm not sure I follow. Oh, I see. You wish to harvest the corrupted crystal. Sorry, friend, but you have to return empty-handed. The rent master, Mimidoa, gave you may grant you access to the island, but only authorized personnel may proceed past this point. Why, you ask? Look up and see yourself. When you see that giant mass of crystals stuck in the lighthouse, it caused severe damage to both the structure and machinery within that once powered the beacon. Aye, contrary to what the small folk would have you believe, the fires of Ferdosiris were not the product of a mage's thaumaturgy or a colossal arcane bomb but an elaborate contraption fueled by ethereal energy. Repairs are still ongoing, but it's anyone's guess when they'll be complete. What's worse, all work has ceased since rumors of the walking dead drove off our entire crew. Not that those rumors are incorrect. I've observed the fiends from a distance at the ship graveyard to the south. What's drawn them to our shores is still a mystery, though. I'll make you a deal, Aerith. Help me unravel the mi this mystery, and I'll bring you your corrupted crystal. In fact, I shall begin searching for one that satisfies your requirements. As for where to begin your inquiries into the situation, it so happens that a party of three adventurers came ashore not long ago, seeking to scavenge valuable trinkets at the gra ship graveyard. I'd be surprised if they knew nothing of the undead infestation, so it might behoove you to question them. I'll behoove you to be dead. He's like, beep, beep. Bleep. Bleep, bleep, bleep. Let's see. You saw him too, right? Dead people, just shambling about without care in the world, except when they do seem to care, that is, and start shuffling towards the water. God's that voice, that single fleeting verse, I can still hear it. Stay steer clear of the southern shore, friend. It took for every ounce of strength to resist it. Some sort of siren zombies. It's all there for the taking. Five bleeding years worth of wrecks and their cargo. But those queer dead things and that voice, actually the voice was quite nice. Oh, quite nice indeed, Jetfish. Dropstick says, how does one request an invite? Where? To the party in Final Fantasy? Um, well, we need to invite you to the, the stuff. Hmm. This talk of an alluring voice is disturbingly familiar as if... That, but that's impossible. They're all dead, aren't they? But, if they have returned, that would mean, oh, beg your pardon, I was just, um, thinking about something. Which reminds me, I've received word that Master Mimidoa would be arriving any moment. Apparently, he grew frustrated, waiting for the sweet young lass with skin as soft as a phoenix down to return. Which I'm assuming is you. I don't know what sort of arrangement you had, but you should probably go and explain yourself. He's talking about the other girl. <laughs> For the dungeon? Well, if you want to come for the dungeon, you can come for the dungeon. Uh, but I need to know who you are in game. I don't know. Are you this wee be bunny right here? Is that you? <laughs> What's been keeping you, initiate? I ain't getting any younger, you know. Eh, some honey-voiced harlot been calling out to folk at what wander near the ship graveyard, and it stirred up the dead and all. Bloody hells! This takes me back to me days as a cannon boy sailing under old Mistbeard. But. They wouldn't dare, would they? Not after uh, the lesson we learned them last time. Bah, they bloody would, though. Wouldn't they, brazen old buddy biddies? Uh, 
Some folks said as the first purge would be the last, but I knew, knew deep down in me bones, as this day would come, and come it has. I, it bit me bum ear a siren behind all this. Nay, not one, oh, that sanguine variety initiate, I speak of the other kind. Them what's got feathers and lures sailors to the watery grave with their sweet, sweet song. Oh, but it don't get end there. No, drowning's just the start. See, even a death, even in death, a man stays bound to the beast, forced to do her bidden till his corpse can't do it no more. Tis a fate I wouldn't wish on the worst enemies, except maybe in drink, and I'd regret it after any road. Tis up to us to stop this hell's born hussy afore she takes another soul. Of course, we can, can't send ye marching off to war without... These, the siren, don't have no power or man, as can't hear her song. Tis lucky for you, I carry a spare pair, and lucky for the both of us, as I'm superstitious old sod, eh? Well, she ain't coming to us, so we'd best head to her. To the ship graveyard, initiate. Yar, har, ship graveyard. I don't know how far away the next. Uh, is the, the next thing is Garuda. Ne the next thing is Garuda. I don't, know how far away are. I don't know how far away we are. Gibbs is on the quest history repeating, which is like three quests away from Lady of Vortex. Of the Vortex. Like he's not far away from being done with this filler. Yar har fiddledy benski and fiddledy benski. Request still. <laughs> it's usually more time than you, than you 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 expect. Usual. If she passes near the shore, she's sure to spy the campfire and come looking. Just a matter of waiting now. Yar. Oh, I, I can't select. Hold on. Uh, I must leave there. the party. No, I'm gonna cry, Kibby. There you go, I cried. Yarn, I'm beginning to wonder if some sly bugger ain't spun us a yarn here. Look at his little beard, keep him. Quite. Do you hear that? Tis her. Good night, Indio. Have a good one, Indio. Look out over the water. Good night, Mindio. She's come, Nishiat. She's come. Damn, titties. Quick lash. Shove them plugs in your ears and get ready for a fight. Soon as she realizes you're deaf to her di ditties, she'll call on her thralls and we'll be up to our necks and corpses before you know it. It's out your book. Fucking legs it. Hither embrace mine everything all. True love spurned her cruelty's reward. Defeat the siren thralls. Come. You don't have your thing out. Standing in the hurt box already. <laughs> Cast out callous soul, dead to desire. Grr. 
Remember we have doing five dollars. So what server are y'all are you all on? I might give this game a try. Soft one, thick kids missed. Uh, we're on Brynhildr, which is on the data center uh, crystal. Spare mournful distress, mistress distress. Why? Give this damage. Give this damage output. That's pretty high. A damage gib. Melody. Melody, okay, last okay, breath. Go. Of death, the rhythm. Dost thou not to relent? Regret? Forever alone? Wizard spells. My love, a river, one look, soul shiver. No. Charm kept his yard. They're being attacked from all sides, me hardy. No more dark eclipse the heart. Duty complete. You did it. Out of curiosity, is it the Viera that makes me a weeb? Or is it the Japanese name? <laughs> Could be a bit of column A, a bit of column B. Eh, am I all right? Ha, I'm better than that, that initiate. Happy as a sailor in a whorehouse, I am. Of course, I'd be happy as a sailor with two wotsits uh, if we'd gutted the songstress, but he can't have everything, can he? Shall not be crooning around here again, though not for a while any road. And if she does, well, we know what to do then, don't we? Thanks for the help, uh, bugger me. I've clean forgot your name. Remind me, Aerith, don't recall having no initiate by the name, by that name. But if you're not me old mate, er, what's name, why have ye been so bloody helpful? Ah, uh, never mind, be seeing you, lassie. I'm not really sure, I'm an old timer, <laughs> little jetfish. I don't even know where I am. I'm a little bucket fish. Her, <laughs> a little unfortunate. There's a fate nearby. It's to kill dead people. Dead man's moan. Um. You mean it was the siren? But how were you able to resist her song? I see. I had heard that Master Mimidoa was involved in the first purge, but I never actually, hmm. Having survived an ordeal like that, I can't blame him for carrying earplugs around with him. Anyway, I have something for you. The corrupted crystal you wanted safely sealed within the pot, just as you requested. Please take it with my compliments. That filthy coward bitch is already back on the other fucking place. Means we can just teleport there. <laughs> Little bucket fishies. Meaning bucket fishies.
Grumpy Red, as long as you don't buy the game, it, it's free. You need to go sign up for the trial. Which is on their website. Don't don't get it on Steam if uh, you don't plan on buying it. Yep. Oh, it's you. Welcome back, Gareth. You're looking remarkably hale, I must say, and more importantly, alive. You are alive, aren't you? Aha, the conquering hero returns, bearing a gift. Might I have a closer look? Impressive, very impressive indeed. You, uh, yes, I think you'll be quite pleased with this specimen. Congratulations, Aerith. Seldom have I, if I ever have uh, encountered a corrupted crystal, composed of such volatile overabundant of fire-aspected ether. What, you wanted a corru uh, corrupted crystal composed of ice-aspected ether to counteract the effects of the raging wind? Ah, uh, <laughs> well, this specimen won't help you there. Anyone who knows anything about the elements could tell you that. You'll have to keep looking, I suppose. Cancer. It was all for nothing. <laughs> yeah. All ironically, just fucking filler. Don't fret now. I know exactly where to find a corrupted crystal comprised of ice aspected ether. As an associate of mine in Gridania has been studying the effects of one such crystal on living beings. Eh, what's this? That expression? I thought you would be pleased to hear this news. This is not another wild dodo chase, I assure you. And what's even better is this that this time you needn't use that warded pot of yours to protect yourself from this crystal's energies. Hedden's findings suggest that it is quite safe. Why, you ask? Well, let's just say that I had it has undergone a unique process that has rendered such precautions unnecessary. Anyway, do not let me keep you. It has been a pleasure, Aerith. Come back and see me sometime, all right? Yeah, see you to strangle you. You stupid whore. Oh. The next time they do a level crunch in this game, they're probably going to kill uh, quite a few of the early Realm Reborn quests. Uh, they've never done a, a, a level crunch, and I was told they I'm did. not sure they will. I was told they did. Well, you're wrong, Squilly. You were you made that up. I guess I was lied liar. to then. You lied, Squilly. Lied Squilly to? lied. Chat, Squilly lied. Don't let Squilly lose loud. Slutfish. Yeah, okay. How name, could they done this name the person who lied to you, Squilly. You can't. It was the it was the Evan 14 chatfish. Yeah, exactly. You can't. You know why? Because you're guilty, Squilly. Ban Squilly. Keep it wide, you a little Hitler. Ban Squilly. Because uh, you. You tricked yourself into thinking what happened. I know, because you do this. That's right. Get silent. As you realize I've caught you. You're <laughs> a little Hitler, you know that? You know what That's right. He doesn't like it. I'm too fucking smart, and I pick up on his bullshit. See, I'm too used to Arch lying, because Arch lies at all the time. Prolific. Like, I've gotten very good at detecting liars. Oh, okay. It's not a it's not a level crunch. It's a stat squish. That's what I thought, Squilly. Now he's now he's I, fucking well, gold. When I movie. hear stat squish, I, <laughs> I think of level crunch. Okay. I'm surrounded by liars. Greetings and salutations, Miss Tilius. I presume Senna informed me of your adventures in Aleport. Terribly sorry about the un misunderstanding, though, as Professor Lambertiant is fond of saying, no action taken in the name of science is ever truly wasteful. To the matter at hand, corrupted crystals possessing the properties you seek could be found in abundance at the Standing Crosses following the Calamity. Alas, that is no longer the case, and while there is at least one suitable crystal that remains to be found within the Twelveswood, precisely where it is at any given moment is more difficult to say. Permit me to explain. You are familiar with Spriggans, yes? The furry little rascals that are wont to seek out ores and other stones? Well, one such creature with an infamously insatiable appetite has single-handedly devoured every corrupted crystal in Twelveswood. Fortunately, for you. These crystals take an eternity to digest, assuming they can even be digested, and I am reasonably confident that one still resides within his gut. It's quite fascinating, really. My theory is this giggity first comes consumed corrupted crystal when, uh, you couldn't care less about all this, could you? To the point, then, Giggity seldom makes his presence felt unless there is particularly fine fodder to be had. Therefore, we shall require a lure, and I have precisely the sort he will find impossible to resist. Simply place this true heart, I shall 
save the story of uh, the origin of its unusual name for another occasion, outside of the Spriggan's lair and the wait for the opportune moment to pounce. As for the method uh, by which you retrieve the crystal from his gut, I shall leave that to your discretion. A curious case of giggity. Whoa. Where are we going, Kip? That's a good question. Down. Down into central? Yes, central. So I have my map out. Use my map to navigate. Map, 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 map. Map, 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 I don't think you've unlocked that door yet. Fuck. Then I should have unlocked that door. Because the race is to kill. It's because outside of the door there are high level monsters. And they don't want people to just randomly wander into them and die. Okay. Be funny though. And so we're off. Is that the expansion or is that the base game? Still the base game. Yeah, we're We're not even on the big expansion. Oh, it's like 200 hours, whatever your name is, Bino. Mm-hmm. Oh, all right. Yeah, he's all not right. even halfway. Sad little Bino. Mm, yeah. I'm just a weirdo Bino. He just commits Beanicide right in front of you. <laughs> yeah, him. that's what I get. That's what I get for updating you early. I will mm, wait last time. Yeah. No Bino. Not from the back. I know why you do what you do. <laughs> From the front, yeah. then? Eh, whatever. That'll get clicks well enough. Alright, which one do you prefer, the first or second one? First one. Alright. Eh, took a wrong turn. But you were supposed to do a close up as well, so do a close up on top of that one. Of Earth's face with a cigar going, hey, it's about time. Alright. Got to spell it out for you, Bino. I do, don't I? <laughs> I do have to spell it out for you. No, I I had the uh, I had the front one also, but uh, I didn't want to do the same with it. Uh, uh, I don't know. Actually, no one did that one. I think I I dreamt about it. Oh yeah, the other day I thought like there was some mod going going after me, but it was some guy in a fucking flying thingy walking around. Oh. Max Wordman said it up to come join, but I only have a warrior and a wet mage, and I think you have both tailing and tanking filled. He just commits a little sad and like, sad aside. Well, like we can all swap out of a warrior and a and healer. Like I, I have multiple classes I can move into. But there's nothing that we're gonna be doing for a while. Uh, we're gonna do Garuda next, and we already have short stick here with yep. us. We got a crystal. Wow. And now we talk. We teleport back. You have left us behind. Oh. 
Ah, pray do not speak up on me like that. I was engrossed in... Wait, what is that? What is that god-awful smell? My word, that is breathtakingly beautiful crystal. I see my supposition was not mistaken. Uh, and I also see you weren't adverse to digging through the Spriggan's entrails for your prize. We owe our furry friend, a furry friend, a debt of gratitude, you know. This thick coating of digestive juice is protecting us from the harmful effects of the crystal, just as the warded pot you once used did. Why so glum, friend? You've obviously, you finally obtained the corrupted crystal you sought, one overflowing with Earth's aspected ether. Calm down, I jest, I jest. It is comprised of ice aspected ether. Worry not, I suppose that joke was in poor taste. Considering your previous two attempts were for naught. Everything comes in threes. Beg your pardon, Aerith. I forgot to return your crystal to you. Oh, and there was a message for you from Professor Lambertiant. Something about a man named Marquis. Apparently, the professor misses the intellectual stimulation. Forgive me. I should have written it down. It occurs to me that I have yet to ask why you need that crystal. You aren't planning anything nefarious, are you? It would reflect poorly on me and my research if it was used for evil ends. Ah, well, perhaps it's best I remain ignorant. I didn't become a professor great, the greatest pupil by filling my head with unnecessary information. They all think that. He's giving you stuff now. Oh, he did. Thanks for the stuff. Whichever person did that. Shifty supplier wander. Who's that? Level three. A level three dude just came up an anime stuff? And then I just leave? Oh. Is he even a chatfish? I don't know. I have no idea what happened. I was kind of like zoning out between oh. the, the reading there. What? There's a person that just handed me stuff and then I don't even know who they are. No, no, what's going on, Rob? I'm scared. It's a little, is that a chatfish or is that just oh. some. Some fucker's like, here's some of my things, can we wait? And I just take it and leave, and it's like, eep! <laughs> <That's gross. laughs> Greetings, madame. Do you wish to proceed to your vessel? Yes. Also, kids, you're level 45. I am. Check if you can put on any new gear. Probably made a lot of, made a lot of gear for us, so. Yeah, you think. Nice. All repairs and modifications have been completed, Aerith. Once you bring me the crystal, nothing will stand between us and Garuda. I'll need to run some tests to be sure, but this looks to be exactly what we need. Worry not, Aerith. I'll see that your hard work does not go to waste. The Enterprise is already more than a common airship, but mark my words, soon it will become something greater, something extraordinary. This, this is me. This is what I was born to do. According to my test, the device is now functioning in perfect harmony. With a crystal, meaning we can leave whenever you're ready. But you must understand, Tess can only tell one so much. Until we approach the Howling Eye, until we attempt to breach the barrier itself, I cannot be sure that this will work. I think it only fair to tell you that there is a small but statistically insignificant or significant chance that the crystal could trigger a massive, hmm, mayhap it is better that we remain positive. Aerith, I want to thank you 
for reuniting me with my ship, for trusting in me to develop this plan, for everything you've helped me to rediscover, a part of myself I had forgotten. I am not the man I once was, and I do not know if I ever shall be again, but I do one thing, I do know one thing, this feels right. My apologies for the sudden outpouring of sentiment. I would have waited until this after this mission, but, well, you understand. There, she's ready. Ah, she stirs. To Korthas and at an audience with the harpy Green Garuda. Enterprise engage. Star Trek. Engage. Yep. Take us out. I knew it's just a Star Trek reference. I knew it's just a... Yes, just, yes, them kills. Uh, the Japanese gold was funded. However, that, that gold does reset once we get to uh, the next expansion. And increase, mind you. <laughs> ha ha ha. Phew. Damn it. I, I once flew in this ship and I was not alone. There were adventurers on board, adventurers like you. They stole my wallet. Those good bastards. Just how long have I worn these damn goggles? I was a femboy back in the day. Ah, yes, I fancied myself a trendsetter in my younger days. Yeah, I can see, femboy. The young prodigy, admired by all, exactly like his father. Why is he running? Why are you running? Born and raised in Garlemald. It was only natural that the the uh, precocious, precocious uh, young student should become an engineer had his father not done the same. Precocious. 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 It's cautious. Caution. Father, when did we stop seeing eye to eye? When did Meteor become your everything, and your beloved one cease to matter? You abandoned us all, but he was there for me. Father, there for me when you were not. Though he proved no better in the end, Gaius was just another man with an all-consuming obsession.
And so I ran, left the Empire behind, and came to Ezria, where I built the ironworks. I call Ezria because Eosria is just too many vowels, too many noises, too many things. And more vowels. I removed the O to make myself happier. And ascend as a god. A god among gods. I understand. I it's understand. pretty difficult to Look, pronounce. It's Aerith. Give him goggles. He's like, you go get the goggles you dropped. Uh, okay, thanks. <laughs> it's your page. Wait, is that implying that Aerith knew him before? No, I read the dialogue. Okay, I was gonna say that doesn't make any sense. Ah, uh, yes, it was then I first donned these goggles. Yes. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> tarded. <laughs> Eosria opened my eyes. It was home to so many manner of people, each with their own hopes and dreams, people worth saving, and so I fought beside them. I wanted to prove that my knowledge could serve a nobler purpose. I wanted to prove that there was another way. And it all began that day when I found my new home. I had forgotten how wonderful it was, the wind in your hair, the endless sky. That light, it was you, wasn't it? I was right. I called it Squealy. It's surprising how few people know this, but all pure blood Garleans have a third eye. Perhaps mine helped me recognize you, or perhaps it was just a lucky guess. She didn't know him. He just had a premonition of her. Aka the other player character. No, oh, see, so he knows him now. See? The Enterprise was made for this, to carry Azria's dream into battle. I am proud to be able to call her my own. Sid, what exactly do you remember? Alphanod, my boy, sorry to have been such a burden. I remember everything. My name is the people and my purpose is everything. Come, it would be rude to keep Garuda waiting. All our efforts, all our tra travails, all of it was for this. Make ready, Aerith, for the end is nigh. Be it hers or our own. It's unlocked! Now we have to invite Kip to the party. Do I want to do that? Do I want him to infect my party with his kibbiness? Probably. He's. Just Big cheeks. So the big cheeks um, around. We can't help it. Yeah. Let's see if Sharp Stick is ready by just queuing and seeing what happens. Grab a little Neko body and breathe. Oh. It was the 1.0 versions that gave him the goggles. So because you did not play 1.0, it is weird. Okay. <laughs> so there's supposed to be like a 1.0 character that gives him the goggles, but uh. Yeah, but it's you from the past. But you don't exist. No, you we do exist. Play one point now. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, you're mi you lost your mind memory because of the thing. You couldn't remember who you were. Yeah. So it's the same thing. It's you. So on this fight, I don't know if they reworked it. No, nice done it. So, but <gasps> um, basically, if she teleports away, hide on the other side of the rocks from where she appears. Okay. Yeah. Who dares intrude okay. upon my sanctuary? Your insolence shall not go unpunished, Landwalkers. 
Well, preserve. She's she's huge. As I live she's and huge. breathe. Big woman. Over there, look. Almajan Kobol prisoners, but why would the Ixel bring them here? For sacrifice, probably. <laughs> Wherefore come you hither, foolish mortals? Garuda, we are come to put an end to your reign of terror. Hear you, hear you this blasphemy. My children, these landwalkers would bring me low. You who are bound to crawl upon the earth who should revere me, for I am the wind. Did we not take to the skies and slip your defenses? We are bound by nothing, Garuda. You think your playthings give you strength? They will not help you here, Landwalker. This is my realm, where none can challenge my supremacy. Struggle though you may, I shall slake the roots with your blood and festoon the canopy with your entrails. <laughs> Squack, slay the unfeathered ones. We shall, as an offering to Garuda, they will serve. Leave the Ixel to us, Aerith. We will keep them distracted while you deal with her. Do not fail, Aerith. Remember, you fight for the Scions and for Azria. Okay, little fanboy. Geek geeks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Really cool song in this boss fight, too. Yeah. This worm would die by mine own hand. Come then, I shall grant you that which you seek. And also, uh, which is summon some feathers, some ads. Focus those first and foremost. I like. I like it. Yeah, this is Monster Girl. Get fucked. Yeah, you're a furry. <laughs> That's why we're killing her. To kill the furries. The are killing her is evil. I'm gonna just like destroy the berries. <laughs> they do not seem to have updated her health at all. No. She is so fucking squishy. You're behind the rocks. <laughs> Binsky! It doesn't really matter, but you should be taking her further away from the rock so she doesn't stay with us. Yeah, I get you. But yeah, they should like double the health at least on all of the primals. No, no, no. 
Why didn't they buff my health bar? She says, in her final words. Why didn't they mm. do such a thing? How's, what? How in the hells? A second phase? <laughs> this is my realm. You have no hope here. None, none. Did you truly believe you could defy a god, Landwalkers? Damn, that's a nice angle. Uh, camera angle, by the way. Really? My power is limitless, my children legion, and they have rendered unto me a wealth of crystals. Their gifts sustain me, their faith empowers me. None save my children will escape the reckoning mortals, and those who would cause use my crystals to waken, the rest shall realize the folly of their faith. Then all shall worship none but me, the one true god. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, just... Of course, worship so long as the Ixil keep praying, she will never fall. Then let's stop them by killing them all. <laughs> She's just like, walking at them. <laughs> <"Ugh."> <laughs> no harm will come to you, my children. This is only the beginning, Landwalkers. All who oppose me shall suffer for their def defiance. Soon the worms of the forest shall receive my judgment. The desert vermin next. Their walls of stone will not shield them from my tempest. And then I will take vengeance on the sea of lice. Their wooden boats cannot outrun the wind. Tremble, mortals, for I shall visit you all in time. And all shall be mine, all mine. You, Landwalker, you who dared to raise your hand against me, you shall be the first to pay for your sins, not with your death, but with your life. Now you but will not. serve me, Landwalker, till your last breath. No, no, I claimed you. You should be mine. Mm, you're kind of gay and cringe. Like, no! <laughs> uh, here's a crystal. Bleh. Nice. Okay, <laughs> I love the facial expressions. What? What are you? What have you done to me? No mortal should possess such power. This, this is impossible. There's no reward, you just gotta leave. That's funny. Why do you not tremble at my might? Why do you not beg for mercy? Why do you not die? We've done it. Though. Fucking cringe. Is that all? O oh, Lady of the Vortex, O oh, Mighty Garuda. Of all primals, the most terrible, I say again, is that all? Gaius? Gaius? 
Ah, Sid, my boy, you look well for one who has forsaken kin and country. I wonder what else you will forsake before the day is done. What? What exactly did you hope to accomplish here this day? I... We sh well, I shall accomplish far more. Just fucking shoots him. Now what would be really lame is if he killed the boss that we worked on killing. Is that all? Is that all? Insolent mortal, I shall make you suffer. Just make you suffer. Very well. Nice. Seven hells, does she still mean to fight? O oh Lord of the Inferno, Almighty Infant, grant us succor in our hour of need. Succor. Save us, Titan, Lord of Craigs. Ah, it hurts us so the pain, the pain. What is she? Twelve preserved. She cannot mean to. Summon their souls. Yep, eat them. King. No, no, this is all wrong. Stop gopping, boy. You're being cringe. Run. <laughs> Surrender yourselves unto me. I would feast upon you, your ether. None shall stand against the wind. Bear witness to the glory of the Empire. <laughs> it is you who will suffer, Garuda. Ancient Alag had ways of dealing with your kind. Now look on their ultimate weapon, Icon and Despair. No, no, no! Nice. <laughs> Magnificent exceeds it exceeds all expectations. With each primal it consumes, it grows more powerful. A marvel, is it not? Such is the fate of those who oppose the empire. There will be no warriors of light to save you this time. If your leaders are wise, as they are reported, they will surrender. Your skills are very impressive, but they will not be enough. Oh, give me a few levels and they will be more than adequate. Yeah, you only need five more. <laughs> and then you're screwed. All that fucking work you did, undone. Just gotta do some fucking side quests. Twelve, have mercy. What chance have we against such an ungodly creation? 
Simple. I'll just do some filler content and I'll be appropriately leveled to slaughter the beast. Oh, okay. I guess that's rather simple. That is rather simple. That was Gaius von Belsar, Legatus of the 17th... Wait, no. The 16th Legion. Wait, no. The 14th. <laughs> Me reading that backwards. <laughs> The Imperial Legion and Supreme Commander of the Garlic Invasion Force of Azria. Of course, Garlic, the Black Wolf. How could I not realize Grandfather mentions him in his journal? I was never so naive to think the man would abandon his ambitions, but these developments are beyond my worst expectations. What have you been doing these past five years? How could something of this magnitude have escaped the Alliance's attention? We heard no whispers, saw no signs. In the wake of the calamity, the Empire seized land and built outposts. But that was the extent of their aggression. Damn it, Gaius. Where in the Seven Hells did you find that thing? It has been a day of unexpected developments. But the fact remains, Garuda is no longer a threat. While I take no comfort in the matter of her downfall, it does mean that we may safely put the matter of the primals to one side, for the time being at least. Which just leaves the matter of Gaius' new toy. Gaius' new toy. Indeed, that weapon poses a great threat to uh, Ezria. It must be destroyed, but first uh, we must needs find out all we can. Let us make for Vesper Bay. We shall rebuild the Scions. All is not yet lost, friend, for we bear the light and shall surely lead our people from the darkness. Yes. For the night, bring it. Well, that was an experience I would rather not have again. Something has been troubling me, Aerith, shortly before the Black Wolf took center stage, when Garuda attempted to claim you as her own. I could have sworn I saw. Ah, uh, but I am sure I was mistaken. In times of great stress, the evidence of the eye is apt to be misread. By even the most inquiring mind, forget I mentioned it. I mean, you could literally just ask. I don't really see the purpose. I'm keeping it a secret. Returning to the subject of our earlier discussion... We may consider the matter of the primals closed further until further notice. No beast tribes will dare summon their god so long as that weapon exists. Truly a more effective deterrent I could not imagine. It almost seems a shame to plot its destruction. It is past time that we return to the Waking Sands. To leave our headquarters in disrepair any longer would to be dishon dishonor the memory of those who fell there. We have been brought to our knees, but we will rest, re uh, we will rest, rebuild, and rise once more. You can use your envelopes, Kibo. Be 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 a fish. But I think it gets a lot less fillery from now on. I don't think the majority of things that you do after this point is a uh, filler. Like, yeah, I could just well. be <laughs> misremembering. <laughs> I'm talking about the, like the main story for Realm Reborn. <laughs> I don't know how much they removed, but there, there's definitely still filler. <laughs> there's a bit of filler, just not, not as much as last time. Tell me, Earth, does aught here strike you as odd? I see signs of recent habitation. Could it be that we have trespassers? Hmm, mayhap it is just my imagination. Come, let us proceed into Solar. Wait. I want to open the door. Do adventure returner and mentor. Wait, what? Okay, where is that? Uh, who goes there? Now, now, Yuda. Is that any way to greet a friend? Alphanaut, Aerith. Sid. Wait, is this a dream? 
Not that I'm aware of. It's been a while, you know. I, I don't believe it. I was sure you'd been. This place has been seen better days. Uh, you know, I wasn't actually here when I, I was still in talks at the Natter's Nest. The first I knew about it was when I came back and, uh, and I saw you duh. The church had taken care of the bodies, but that still left the stains. It, it is, was hard to know where to start if Yestola hadn't been here to help me. Yestola was is here too? Yes, but she's not here right now. She's gone to Ulda to meet a man who might know what happened to the others. Papalimo and Minfilia weren't among the dead, according to the church. Yestola thinks they were taken somewhere... Upon the orders of the Black Wolf, no doubt. Why would he want them? Because they possess something he desires. Knowledge of another power that can be brought to bear against the primals. One that Gaius has yet to harness. The Echo. Gaius will be aware of its existence, as well as the immunity it grants the gifted to the primals' influence. Powerful though the, his Alagon weapon may be, he would doubtless desire such protection. He means to use Menphilia to gain an understanding of the Echo, none of which explains how the Empire came to know the location of the Waking Sands in the first place. No matter, the Empire has shown its hand, and now we must act. It is up to us to rebuild the Scions and save Ezria. Can I count on you, Ida? What? Oh, yes, yes, of course. Whatever you need. We can discuss our next move upon Yashola's return. For now, I say we rest. Wow. Sitting on the floor. There's even the room for the chair. <laughs> Hear, feel, think. Mm, no. Turns up, brain. <laughs> Turns up. Pitch darkness of the world. Bringer of light. Brave gatherer of the crystals, thy soul burneth bright. Oh, they even use a lone word for crystal. I am Hedelin, all made one. Hearken unto me now, for the darkness doth begin to spread. Wear thee, the bearer of the crimson brand, for he is Avatar of Shadow, whom death attendeth always. The crystal shall be thy salvation, thy blade and shield both. Steal thyself, for at the appointed hour thou shalt stare into the heart of darkness. Go with caution, my child, but fear not, for I am ever with thee. Rupstick says, Kids, you have three new mounts. Shifty supplier is an alt I made for laughs. Okay, so that was the, probably the guy who was giving you things randomly. <laughs> you stole that. Earth, I see you and Alphanod are safe, and... and Sid?
that we five should meet each other thus defies simple explanation. It is, is, is as if the benevolent hand of Master Lucien, Lucien guides us still. Oh, French, French! He would not see us undone so easily. Not now when he, the need is so great. I know where Menfili and the others are being held. And you need not worry about filler. Yet. <laughs> where? <laughs> An imperial stronghold in the heart of Mordohona, Castrum Sentry. Like cats, like dogs. The rescue of our allies will be no small undertaking, Aerith. Even under normal circumstances, breaching the defenses of an Imperial castrum would be highly dangerous proposition. However, I mean, no, not however, but now, I just assumed, it just felt like a however situation, but now the castrum sentry houses prisoners, whom the garlic seem valuable, they're deemed valuable. We may be confident that they have taken additional measures to ensure the stronghold's security. If we are to free our friends, we will require an effective strategy. And if we are to formulate an effective strategy, we will require intelligence. I believe I know a man who may be able to assist us in this. Lord Pontelaine of House Dernadere. He is stationed in the observatorium in Corthos. Let us go to him and beseech his aid. Fortunately, I can tell Let's go to that place that does not have um, an etherite. There's one etherite. You wonder why their kingdom is backwards, because they're not able to advance fast enough. Or they can't and... teleport freely at will. Did you, but uh... I think we should also, you know, do your, you know, that's what I was going to for before that. Did you you're... unlock your new mounts? Yeah, you need to use those things that they were given to you. Uh... But, by the way, that wasn't Dimkules, that was, uh... That was Sharp Stick. Yeah, Sharp Stick. Yeah, there's like a global cooldown for items too. You can't spam them super fast. Look at kids getting all the free, getting all the uh, free in, mounts. In the bottom left, you have the uh, random one too. Yeah. If you want to just, just use that one, you can just use that to pick a random mount to put on. What the fuck? What's this one? It's a, it's a thing. Oh, you got little fish people carrying it. Oh, it made... the music goes up when you run. That's the best mouth, alright. Little chaffish slaves. <laughs> yeah. No, Bino, the fat chocobo is the best mouth. There's a fat chocobo, okay, then this might be the second best month then. Ah, yeah, sent you key things, uh, kiddos. Like, uh, the little doodles. Little doodles. A close up. Basically, the, the hologram no, of no, the. No, 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 Listen. no, 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 not a close up, I mean, like, uh, for an other pose ideas because of Nathan there. I know. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Do a close up. With Aerith's eyes looking almost cross-eyed down at an orb, you know, like close. Orb. Instead, okay. Closer. Like she's peering at it, pondering the orb, if you will. Okay. Okay. What is this reference to, by the way? So you don't want the new tools that one then. Alright. Mm. I will make Bino finally make the right image to drag him kicking and screaming. I know. I love though. I love when people like. I need a picture of a cat, okay? And they're like. I sent you the reference. You no, know. You know. You didn't send me anything. Yes, I did. That gif is the reference. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you stupid motherfucker. How the hell do I, should I know? Like, you sell, you sell me a random, like, StarCraft thing, like... Pino! Uh, <laughs> Keep it under wraps. <laughs> Jeff is sure not to know about it. <laughs> Bean dog. How yeah, could Pino have done this to you, Kibo? I'll send you stuff in a little bit. I have stuff for Shadfish later today also that I'll be sending. Uh, good stream, dudes. I'm going to visit my parents real quick. Okay, one Dino. Bye bye. Yeah, bye bye. Ah, oh, Eric. Oh, yeah. the... What is it, Bino? Just go away. Right I was going there. to ask, how do I join the bucket thing again? I need yeah, to I'm find you and invite you. Uh, I'll meet up with Robin. <laughs> I'll meet you another day, Robin. Come on, you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Aerith, the woman who unmasked the heretic in our midst, to what do I owe the pleasure of your company? You are an associate of Ishola, but of course, Lord Dillamont confided to me that you and the, were the uh, a scion of the Seventh Dawn. Castrum Sentry, what interest have you all in the Imperials? They hold several of our number, whom we intend to free. Any information you can provide would greatly be appreciated. I see that might explain our scout reports. They observed our four prisoners being led into the Castrum of Hyruin, woman, and an Elysian man, and two Lollafels, one male and female. It's them. It has to be. Minfilia, Uriander, Poplimo, and Tataru. If that scant morsel is used uh, of use to you, you may also be interested to hear about a most recent incident. Incident? An Imperial airship made an emergency landing here in Korthos not long ago. Two men believed to be prisoners of Rogadin and Lalafel and Lalafel were seen fleeing the craft. What did you say? A Rodigan and a Lalafel. Master Garland, neither wore Imperial dress and both seemed dis disinclined to wait for rescue. Hence our assumption that they were not were prisoners. Well, I'll be damned. It's Biggs and Wedge. Trust those two rascals to escape. We must find them, Earth, and soon. The Imperials will not rest until they capture they are captured or killed, and if Biggs were given the choice, I fear he'd take the latter. Freeing those held in Castrum Sentry will require substantial planning and preparation. As such, it is an endeavor that will admit some slight delay and some variation of side questing. The matter <laughs> of escapees, by contrast, will not shortly after the prisoners uh, vacated the airship, our scouts observed Imperial troops setting off in pursuit. It is likely only a matter of time before they uh, before they catch them. If you wish to see your comrades again, you had best act now. If as, if as has been suggested, the garlic took our fellow scions of prisoners in hopes of understanding the echo, it seems reasonable to assume that they will not be executed until such time as the study is complete. But Biggs and Wedge are not scions, nor do they know aught of the Echo. As Lord Portelain uh, said, this may prove our only chance to rescue them. I s say we seize it. Thank you, everyone. You won't regret this. Final preparations are almost complete, my lord. 
There stands the culmination of five long years of painstaking work, but all our efforts will be vindicated when the Emperor's vision becomes reality. At last, we have the power to purge this land of its false gods. We shall give the ignorant children of Azria the security and stability they so desperately crave, and which their spineless leaders have so palpably failed to provide. As you say, my lord, rest assured our engineers will not rest until the weapon is fully armed and operational. Fully armed and operational. Ritten. 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 You depart for Castrum, Ossidens at midnight. You will command the Western Front in Vilbrand. The Ezrians will attempt to interfere with our plans. You will see that they do not. My lord, if this be your will, I shall carry it out to the best of my abilities. I live only to serve the Empire. Yet forgive my impedance, but is it proper to give command of half our forces to a... I have given you nothing, Perfectus. You have earned it. That will be all. Dismissed. Yes, my lord. My quarters. One hour. Very horny. Damn! Hmm. You really some stress, you know. Nope, oh, I just ran away from him. Eyes on the Empire. My purpose here is to reconnoiter the garlic activity along Albalathia's Elbath spine. Owing to this, I have the honor of being acquainted with Yestola. Now, the report of the Imperial Airship Emergency Landing came to us by way of Desmel Darkold, situated to the west. Our man stationed at the entrance, a knight named Bryselt, uh, may be able to tell you more. So, as to expedite your mission, I shall furnish you with a letter of introduction. I pray that you will soon be reunited with your comrades. May the Fury grant you strength. Dropsick says, Robin, can you have Kibbs look at the catfish on the right in the back row? The drunk one, lol? He the means the, uh, on the mount with the uh, palatine or whatever it's called. The what? The, uh, the, uh, uh, the one you were being carried around on. Yeah. In oh, the that back, one. On the right. He's drunk. He's dead. He's a little drunky chatfish. They are basically chatfish. They are. The chatfish will lead us to victory. Upon the back we ride. Mmm, garlic. This is the pretty compresso. You stand before <laughs> Dismal Darkhold. The subterranean fortress excavated by the great Ishgardian houses of the same name. None but authorized personnel may enter. A letter from Lord Portelain. So, you have come about the Imperial airship. According to our scouts, the vessel had scarce touched the ground when a pair of men, captives by all account, burst forth and bolted. Imperial soldiers have since been sighted in the area, seeking to recapture them. What? The captives are like, like to be your friends, you say? Then let us pray that they are yet a step ahead of their pursuers. The emergency landing reportedly took place near the Ardham Vale. Situated south and west of here, I suggest you take your search there. Seek out a knight named Pyramons. He should be able to assist you. And then he doesn't, and then we just we just don't get anything done. And then you cry. <laughs> and it's like, actually, can you help me collect some bear asses? Uh, I'm like, no. I th I think you might as well go do the class quests now, because I, I was going to wait until we get to Mordona, but. I guess you can just head there. Well, I might as well complete um, this one, because it's always got to teleport. Well, 
It's gonna be there a while, but it, you see there's an exit right next to it, right? Yeah, Mordona? Mm, yeah, you can just go in there, and the Aetherite is like right next to the entrance. Not exactly, but it's really close. I didn't realize how te how technically small the world actually was. Fuck! I just started clicking on stuff. No, I started talking to this guy. Fuck! I hastened to the landing site, it. arriving just in time to see the vessel take to the skies, but not before it had deployed a detachment of troops. Gruff orders were being uh, barked, and there was an air of constant, constant consternation about them. Wrong place. We gotta go this way. Okay, let's see. Speak with... No, wait, don't do that. Uh, where do we go? Uh, yeah, just click the quest in the top left. Um, un under the big one. Austerities of Earth. That's where you want to go? Is it? Yeah. Okay, you, the Could way you it. worded it, it sounded like you're not sure. I was like, what? <laughs> Bitsky. That's where you want to go? Bitsky. This is what I said. Bibiabianski. Learn to love more, Donna. No, see ya. God damn, I keep clicking the wrong thing. What's oh, up there? There it is. As you say, bare fat, yes. Titan's essence infuses you your aura, Irith. I foresee no further obstacles preventing us from attempting the tr next trial. Shall we proceed with the austerities of Earth? I have every confidence that you will succeed in binding Titan EJ to your will. According to my research, the most suitable location for the ritual is a place found to the southwest of Alder Springs, in the North Shroud. Uh, Heretofore, uh, heretofore a buried layer of ancient rock exposed by the violent upheavals of the calamity has lent the surrounding area an overwhelming earthen aspect. The conditions will be perfect. I will await you at our destination. Now could you do this to me, making me teleport all over the place? Itchy, scratchy. Shatfish. She just caught a shatfish, kid. She's trying to get away with it. Try to himself. When in doubt, let the bucketfish slaves carry us forth.
What the fuck? No, there's a gap I there. Feel. No, no. It's probably below. Hey. Luckily, you can't die from fall damage monster. <laughs> you, no, but you can walk into an aggro monster that will hit you for one damage. <laughs> The ritual you are about to perform is essentially no different from the austerity to flame. Instead of fire, however, you will be concentrating on shifting your etheric balance towards the spectrum of Earth. Once you've achieved the required state of the Earth and Affinity, a primal's captured essence will tumble, tumble forth and coalesce into the stony form of a Titan EG. Bef as before, you must demonstrate unflinching authority. If you would convince the newborn avatar to heed your commands, let us begin. WM says, what's the daily at now? Woke up somewhat um, lucid. We are $144 away. It has been From pretty stiff. tomorrow's goal, right? Yep. Tomorrow's goal. But we must make every day. Uh -oh. Yep. Making the merely the goal. So we started beating the crap out of him. He fucking killed his ass. Great. What's your opinion of the uh, of the class press, Robin? I don't think that they're super great, um, but they could be worse. A lot of it is just kind of filler and meme stuff. Oh, well done, Aerith. Bonk. Dead. And the thing that bothers me the most is that in 90% of the cases, it's just like you're fighting your class, but evil. In like yeah, every single quest. Yeah, it does happen. Is that the case here? <laughs> evil mage. What does it look like? <laughs> I come in search, <laughs> dumb hat. I come in search of Alagaran Radilix. And what do I find but a pair of incompetent dabblers? By what jest of fate did you chance across such undeserved power? And who might you be, sir, to so boldly question our accomplishments? If you have indeed unlocked the secrets of summoning, then you must be in possession of the very treasure I seek. How terribly inconvenient. I need only slay you both and take what I need from your bloody corpses. Gods below, a summoner, but how? Cease your infantile prattle. The continuation of my divine work far outweighs the worth of your pitiful lives. Keep bonking away. Use your magic. Why do you struggle so? 
Your unwillingness to accept oblivion, but delays the inevitable. Heed me, Avatar of the Infernal Flame. Incinerate these fools in all-consuming hellfire. What? Feel nature's fury, you vile black god. That's racist. Grunch. I tire of the child's game. Thank your god for granting you another day of miserable existence. He is gone. What a decidedly unpleasant fellow. What up, MDH? Five dollars, say hashtag Famicar, hashtag Reggie. Uh, no lewds. Yes, it kept funny future hat. Gotta bump those rookie numbers up. Thank you for the donation. Very generous. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, I suggest we return to Akalu Falls. I have no desire to linger here any ch uh, and chance another encounter with whomever that deranged mage was. So what What was the no lewds tag? <laughs> anyway, That just means he doesn't want his donations going to towards going to lewds. Yep, pretty lewd goals. Which is good because it further hinders the chapters that fund them. Making them I mean, have doesn't he have to like... Yes, yes, I'm doing Doesn't he have to like... Yes. Specifically... Put it towards the loot. It's because he accidentally did it once, and so he's forever madge about it. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, one would even call him a butt man. He's a bit I dumb. Can respect that. He did it. He's dumb. <laughs> oh, good, good. I must say, I did not expect to meet another practitioner of the summoning arts. And I also did not expect to be suddenly fighting for my life. What precious treasure do we carry that this so-called, this callous stranger was so willing to kill us to possess it? Such mysteries aside, I am most glad you were able to secure a Titan EG before the summoner decided to unleash his fiery avatar. Without its protection, I doubt we would have survived that conflagration. The EG of Earth, as was so aptly demonstrated, is not a force to be trifled with. You should certainly take the time to explore its capabilities as well as its limitations. Be careful, however, not to neglect other magics at your disposal. Meanwhile, I shall confer with my colleagues and the sons of St. Koinak and see what I might learn of this that hostile summoner. We shall meet Anon. Anon. And now Titan is actually useful. In the past, it was like borderline pointless because <laughs> it was only the tank. Like it was literally just the Void Walker from WoW. Oh, I like the Void Walker. Yeah, but it's only useful for questing. <laughs> yeah, true. It's just a tanking a minion. How fair are you with your train training error? For my part, I had some success in uncovering the identity of our mystery attacker. We knew that our assailant was capable of summoning an Ifrit AJ, so I per perused the records of past expeditions for those who claimed to have triumphed against the Lord of the Inferno. Of those victorious primal hunters, there were eight names listed as present, whereabouts unknown. After eliminating unlikely candidates based on race and gender, I was left with but a single name, Tristan. Assuming the records are accurate, this Hyur was once registered as a soldier of the Immortal Flames. As to how the man came by his skills as a summoner, or why he sought to kill us, however, I remain woefully ignorant. Nevertheless, I have witnessed him use the art of summoning for casual brutality, and that I cannot countenance. This power should never be employed for the sake of tyranny or personal gain. It was meant to oppose such evils. It is our responsibility to bring this Tristan to ju justice. Should we stand idle, his reprehensible actions could very well stain the good name of future summoners who have yet to answer their calling. The art itself could be outlawed, the very mention of it taboo. 
Now, through my inquiries, I was able to determine that a war comrade from the Tristan days in the military resides in Little Mahigo. A la Mahigo. No, not Mahigo. Ah, <laughs> I ask that you pay Mahigo. a visit to this former soldier and learn what he knows about our callous villain. Bye, Rapier. Have a good day. Bye, Hello. little Kamigawa chat. Yes, he's a... Chumbigawa. Don't call me Chumbigawa. You're a little Chumbigawa, aren't you? No. Oh, Chumbers. Chumbigawa Chungus. Chumbigawa. Ooh, Flare. He uses all of my mana. <laughs> yep. That's funny. Yeah, you kind of use it as a finisher. Hmm. But what you can do, what I like to do... You get a skill that recovers your mana. So what you do is you AOE with fire until you get there. Oh yeah, much. you use a uh, fire to get to up yourself to uh, level three, and then you use the player. Well, well, seems like Tristan was telling us tall tales after all. He said I could expect some primal adult sob to show up and start asking questions. Why don't you stay here and play with some friends of mine? I have a message to deliver. She's all yours, ladies. That's a bit rapey. Oh, no. Big rapey. But no, no, Reguline, you use fire until you're out of mana. Not until you get to three. And oh. then you use flare. So and then, the you and then you use the, yeah. Okay. And then you so use then the, just, when you switch to, then you use the skill uh, to recover your mana, and then you use flare again. And then what you can also do is you can, you can have, uh, like a, an ether, an empty potion, uh, bound, as well. And then you can use that, and then you can use flare a third time. Uh -huh. So there's just this flare just. Use all of your mana, or is it exactly ten thousand? All of your mana. Okay, so it doesn't matter what what it says there. Okay, I gotcha. No. <laughs> Bit silly. It looks really cool though. Yeah. Fun to use. It's fun to use it three times in a row too. <laughs> Black Mage is probably the most uh, mechanically advanced class in the game. It's also probably my favorite class because of that. I could swift cast Flare. Yeah, you can. It's pretty much the only <laughs> use for swift cast as Black Mage. Uh, the uh, the skill that gives you your MP back, the region one, is also useless. You were set upon. The fiend is one step ahead of us. I'd wager ten years of dig site findings that Tristan warned his old allies long before you set foot in that settlement. They thought you one of the tempered, a mortal and thrall to a primal's will. In addition to being ruthless, it appears that our opponent is highly intelligent and not quite as deranged as I first thought. Such a level of planning hints at the existence of some greater scheme, but that is still all we know. For the moment, we must be content with the knowledge that he perceives us as a threat and is aware of our efforts to track him. Speaking of which, you did exceedingly well to survive the trap with into which I blithely sent you. I must apologize for my carelessness. I will not underestimate this man again. On a happier note, however, my efforts to decipher the Oligan texts proceed apace. Here, you must read this. With your skills already tied and tested against the Eiji, you should have little difficulty in mastering a secondary summoning technique. Such as this, let us put this day's disaster behind us and focus on the wonders that lie ahead. All right, Sharpstick. Thanks have for uh, going, uh, joining. So I don't think there's anything upcoming for a while. Probably not going to be doing any more dungeons today um, unless we hit the level cap then we might need to do a leveling roulette mm -hmm. let's mm. see 
See you, little buckfish. Greetings, Aerith. Though I, it is good to see you, I am afraid I have yet to ascertain Tristan's ultimate objective. I only know that he is cunning and brutal and will stop at nothing to achieve his purpose. As matters stand, we but chase after this man's shadow. Such a straightforward pursuit will, I believe, leave us ever one step behind. Our sole advantage is the treasure we possess. The Tristan appears to covet eventually his desire will bring him to us where and when tristan will strike i cannot say but it is likely to be on a field of our choosing thus i suggest we prepare for this inevitable conflict as best we may as fortune would have it the ruins of mordohona may have provided us with a new source of strength word among the sons is that set of evokers attire has been unearthed made during the reign of the Oligan Empire. These enchanted garments were soon for the exclusive use of summoners. I can only imagine the degree to which they will enhance your already impressive powers. The man supervising the excavation efforts at St. Coinax, Find Ramburros, is a dear friend of mine. In light of our circumstances, I am certain that he will consent to a request that you will be allowed to don the attire. Shall we pay him a visit? Uh, Grumpy uh, Grumpy asks, what would be the best class for a new player? I have only ever played Guild Wars 2 and WoW years ago. Don't don't worry about what would be the best class. Just pick whatever you think looks cool or seems they cool or whatever. Uh, start like out the, only, the only thing that matters is if you play a DPS, your queues for dungeons will be t 10 times longer. But it's still like fine if you don't mind waiting like 15 minutes to 20 minutes sometimes uh, for whatever story dungeon you need to do. So, like whatever. But mind you, like even even if you play a tank, it's not really that big of a deal. Like having to take the lead, all you have to do is just go in and press the AOE button, and you're pretty much set. <laughs> I would almost suggest. Like love, like playing your first time around playing as a DPS because you just get more experience doing the main quest than you do dungeoning. For the most part, it's not really that big of a deal either way. But like, if you play a DPS, at least you can just watch what other people are doing, right? To learn the strats. And if you die, it's not really that big of a deal. Like the healer is gonna res you, and the other guys are gonna keep doing damage. But yeah, I, like honestly, just just go with whatever seems cool. Because most classes are difficult, especially not in the beginning, and they ease you into it very, very slowly. Ah, Yamurta, I suspected you would make an appearance before long, and I presume this fine lady is the new summoner I've heard so much about. Yes, hopefully the first of many. Now, pray tell me, Rembrose. Rambro. <laughs> Ram, 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 Ram. No, Rambro. Stupid squealy. Dumb. I only understand. <laughs> has the discovery of the Allegan made evokers attire been confirmed? It has truly. It, it has. Truly an historical find. Then I would ask a boon of you. My friend, you recall the predicament of which I spoke. Our chances of survival would be greatly improved if you would consider allowing Aerith to wear the Allegan garments. Hmm. Well, she is a summoner, after all, and I must confess to no small degree a scholarly curiosity as to the effect the attire will have on one with the appropriate training. These finds, however, are the result of much sweat and even, few te even a few tears on the part of the excavation team. Tis a frustrating task at times, and I fear they will be loath to part with the garments without some measure of recompense for their efforts. Allow me, though, to offer a solution. Metallic monstrosities of elegant construction known as Mironites have arisen from the dig sites scattered across the Mordohona. Needless to say, they pose a dangerous threat to our excavators. I suggest you speak with my three field researchers and dispose of any such nasty hindrances to their works. I dare say they will then gladly surrender the pieces of the attire they hold. Once I have confirmed our dig sites suitably empty of armored horrors, I will see you rewarded with the garment that I myself recovered from the ruins. When it, when it comes to classes, I think the only thing I would say is 
if you don't feel like super comfortable with MMO gameplay, avoid picking a healer. And the reason for that is nowadays people are so stressed out, like they e even in low level dungeons, even if they're like they've got the sprout icon next to their name, which means that they're new. Even if it's in low level dungeons, people still maximize their pulls. And if you're not really a keeping up then it might can be more stressful than anything else a mirror knight lurks just over yonder I can scarce think straight with that thing wandering about oh god it approaches oh it no approaches. an owl no I don't like owls they're evil <laughs> You think? Oh, God damn it. If I'm not mistaken, you were in search of the Evoker's attire. I have one of the its wondrous pieces right here. You are most welcome to it. Well, thank you, little lad. Little, little guy, little friend. You know, I don't think that it's like the equivalent of finding like, here's like a, a centurion's armor and fully preserved and intact. Like that fucking archaeologist is going to be fucking <laughs> killing you over it. <laughs> No, you gotta put it on it so you can utilize its full power. This is also the general structure for the class quest. You do a couple quests where you learn the, the newer newer skills, and then you get the armor set. Praise the gods. Rambrose said an adventure would be along. Please, you you must destroy that horror destruction. And it keeps murdering it like a motherfucker. Thank you for eliminating the source of my recent nightmares. I don't ordinarily stutter, you see, but abject terror has the uh, that effect on folk. Now I hear from Yamutra that you have need of the elegant garment. I should be glad to see it put to practical use rather than shut away in some dusty vault. I just don't think that would really happen. I just... <laughs> I feel like these characters would fight tooth and nail over this, but I'm glad they don't because that would turn into like 30 side quests. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mirror Knights, yes, they have become quite bothersome. I would be most appreciative were you to eliminate the creaking pest that has been plaguing me of late. So do they just stalk them? Like they said, they're standing here like, God, he's just over there staring at me. <laughs> good night, General. Have a good night. Have a good one, Yanis. Fascinating. I never thought I would be fortunate enough to observe a conflict against an elegant construction at close quarters. This has been deeply enriching experience. If the price is to be my piece of the Evoker's attire, then so be it. Now, kids, you can just equip all of them. How? Just fit. What? Recommended gear. Hey. There you go. <laughs> oh, they're just gonna be better? Yeah. Like, they are just... They, they're your the best in slot until level 50. Except for the shirt. You don't, you don't get the shirt till level 50. Oh. And even then, they give you a box with level 90 version of the gear. That you can ah, champion of my researchers returns. With the ruins now free of mirror knights, the excavations can proceed at a far more satisfying pace. Trembling in fear for one's life makes it astonishingly difficult to handle ancient artifacts that have a tendency to crumble to, to dust. You have performed a valuable duty for us, Aerith. As promised, you shall have the summoner's garment uncovered by my own hand as your reward. God damn it, fucking fingy! <laughs> oh, that hat looks oh, atrocious. I forgot, I forgot that they give you the hat there at the end of it. Glad I'm not actually wearing it. But no, kids, show the show, no, show, show no. the horn. Show, show the horn. No. no. Turn it on. Uh, the horn now. <laughs> Look at you, pinhead. 
<laughs> that looks so stupid. <laughs> Take that off. <laughs> no. Fucking pinhead over here. I don't know who the fuck on the art department thought that I was like, hey, this is a really cool design. Probably even fucking retarded. <sighs> Look at that. I, I just don't be, uh, Like the starter classes, there's Gladiator, and Gladiator goes into Paladin. Marauder goes into Warrior, Evoker, which is what Kibbs is, turns into Summoner and Scholar. Uh, Black Thaumaturge turns into a Black Mage. Lancer turns into a Dragoon. Pugilist turns into Monk. Ar Archer turns into Bard and... So this was how the summoners of old were clad. Well, more or less, it is, unfor is unfortunate that the ruins have yet to surrender the final piece of the sun to the suns. These garments, aside uh, from the coloring, they are identical to the garb Tristan wore. He will find no edge against you through the, his equipment. When next you face that murderous cad. Victory will be decided purely by who is the one who is the more talented summoner. To that end, it is time you drew on your experience of defeating the primal Garuda. Yes, her aura is of fickle violence is palpable upon you. It is daunting to imagine an EG born of the Lady of the Vortex. Such unpredictable ferocity should serve you well. I will search for a suitably airy location in which to perform the austerities of wind. You, my dear summoner, must need to prepare yourself, body and mind, for the trials ahead. I shall be waiting. I sense Gruda's restless essence railing uh, within the confines of your etheric channels. It is time we granted it release, the austerities of wind. Thankfully, I already have in mind the location that well suits our elemental purposes. You are familiar with the floating city of Nim in the outer Lenosia? As you might imagine, the aspects of wind is entirely dominant in the area of those suspended isles. Pray make your way there as soon as you feel prepared. I am quite excited to see this new EG. No. Bisky. Bisky. What? Never, never been there. Well, whose fault is that? Yours. Got him. Sorry. If I interrupt you before you finish your sentence, I went. He's like, that's we got it. <laughs> Such is the way of things, Binskers. By Binskers Whiskers. Come on, little derpy chantfish. Carry me forth. Welcome back. Just checking on Phil. See if he exploded while I was gone. He didn't, fortunately. I must buy a new mouse, but I am incredibly cheap and I will not. <laughs> I'm incredibly <laughs> cheap and I will not. Just blow more into it. I managed to make it kind of work on my, my, my mouse. There's something about your mouth, Kevin, that drives me to the fucking wall. I don't know what. Mine part that Brains I like is the fact anger. that the chat fish are just fucking flopping around. They're just like floppy little Remember, remember to take the <laughs> east right on the left. Like for whatever reason, I, love, I just feel I angry love, looking at this map. I love every single time I have ever told Gibbs something is on the left or on the right. He always tells the opposite direction first. <laughs> uh, it happens. It's because my brain's like, turn a direction. I'm like, turn direction. It's like, oh, that but direction. Turn left. Gibbs, do you need me turn to right. cheapish? Uh, do you need me to find you a cheapest standing mouse? 
No, I don't need I don't need a cheap one. I just don't want to spend money right now on any frivolous things in my opinion. So long as it works, it works. Once it starts actually proper breaking, I'll buy two. That way I'll have one as a spare. Unfortunately, this is the spare because my other one is broken. <laughs> Shall we begin? I assume that as this is your third such experience, you have by now grown familiar with the steps of the ritual. Thus, as before, I would have you concentrate on shifting your etheric balance. Imagine the energy within you howling through your veins, an incessant gale of screeching wrath. Garuda's essence will be only too eager to harness those raging currents and shape them into a worldly avatar. Once Garuda E.G. has appeared, it falls to you to tame its fury. My god, little Brocket Brishies. Brocket Brishies. You should be forced to game on a trackball for a month. It's actually not that bad once you get used to it. Uh, yeah. I used one on, in my couch. You're a monster. You're all monsters. It, it really is only bad for you to turn around fast in like an FPS. What kind of extreme do you use when it comes to vertical mouse mice? Do you have like one of those that's like 90 degrees vertical? No. It's like at an angle. Yeah, the tilted ones, yeah. Those are the best ones. Yeah, I tried both. And the ones that are 90 degrees, are they are fucking unusable. They're, they're almost even worse than a normal mouse when it comes to stress. The tilted ones nice you have to like a natural hand it. position. Yeah, exactly. But those are pretty cheap. I know, uh, I, I have a mouse that I can recommend. It's pretty good. It's only like 30 bucks. Problem is, left handed things are normally annoying. Oh, yeah, that's true. Because you're right. Right handed ones are cheap. Left handed ones are not. Because I'm left handed, I have to pay more. Oh, God. Ads. Ad Me, oh. no. <laughs> like, there's ads on the screen? No. <laughs> But for like, actually for non-gaming, trackballs are pretty much the least harmful mouse that you can use. Masterfully done, Aerith. Garuda's EG's power is now yours to wield. Your aptitude for the art of summoning has exceeded my highest expectations. I honestly could not have found a more valuable partner for my research. Let us return to Apkalu Falls. I am sure you must be exhausted for after this ordeal. I'm sure you must be exhausted. Mm. Just lay over there. God fucking damn it.
I managed to play StarCraft on a trackball, but not, but still not, still not too pleasant. <laughs> yeah, and when you need like twitch movement, it's not amazing. But for anything else, it's perfectly fine. With the addition of Garuda EG, you now command three powerful avatars. As you have no doubt realized, however, each of these entities has a particular role in which it excels. For Garuda EG, that role is unleashing magic to strike down distant foes. I must admit feeling equal parts joy and apprehension at how faithfully the summoned being displays the original primal's volatile disposition. Experiment with your EG allies and most and the most effective use of their individual abilities will soon become clear. With such mastery of the art at your disposal, I shall almost pity Tristan when Matt next he chooses to confront you. Before that time comes, however, I will endeavor to pierce the mystery of his motivations. May your discoveries bring you new confidence, Aerith. Wham. Wait a minute, no. That's More like cows and ducks. Cow, cow. Wrong place. Wait, no. B and skirts, we and skirts. B and skirts, we and skirts are small. <laughs> Short and stubby. Pray a little thing. Short and round. Perhaps. Wake chat up before you go, go. Wake you wake it up before we go, go. Don't be a little tired. A little, a little grumpy, even. A little grumpy, a little chaffy ish. There were prisoners aboard the airship, it seems, and they seized the opportunity to flee when the vessel was forced to land. The Garleans, who were deployed, formed each search parties and proceeded to scour the wilderness in order to alert our forces. I returned to my post to find evidence that someone had been here in my absence. Whoever they were, they tried the door, but to no avail, and decided to go elsewhere. In all, I marked two sets of footprints, one large and one small. If you search the area, mayhap you will find and be able to follow the, the prints to their owners. What, where the points? What, where, where the points, Bansky? Bansky, Bansky, where? Right there. It's glittering. Oh, God damn it! because the <laughs> icons are so big, I can't even see it on the map. I don't see the orange circle. Fuck. No, it, it, it is only showing the orange circle. Well, yeah, because I had this map. I was looking at this map. Here you can't see oh. it. Yeah, now yeah. it's over there because, you know, the icon's too big. FF victory fanfare is older than the Game Boy. <laughs> My god. Aerith, are you wearing high shirt? Yeah, you're wearing a high skirt. Damn. That sucks for you. Nice. Oh. Uh, not so nice for right now. <laughs> it's like, my thighs are cold. Well, you're kind of dumb for, you know, wearing inappropriate attire for the weather. <laughs> She's ill-suited for winter. A frozen makote on the side of a rock face probably somewhere. Mikote. Where'd they get the name Mikote anyway? Uh, they watched Star Trek Voyager. Chakote. Oh. Gee, okay. <laughs> sure, okay. Yeah, that's <laughs> definitely it. Well, I think it actually has ties yeah. to some sort of Native American thing based on how it's Mikote. Like, it, it sounds like that. But I'm not sure. I, I, I don't know how much they put into the linguistic side of it or if it matters at all. <laughs> I don't know. 
could be actually just a made up word. I like the sound of it, perhaps. Well, huh? High skirts equal hen tie. Just my motorcyclist. Burst, so cuckold. I won't want to go home. Ah, please don't eat me. I'm not nearly as succulent as I look. It's all skin and bones underneath, I swear. Gasp. Aerith, it's you. Thank goodness you're here. It's been... It's been awful. The garlic people were snapping at our heels like a hungry pack of wolves. I was so hell's bent on evading them, I almost ran headlong into a monster's gaping maw thrice. And when I finally found cover, it hit me how cold and hungry I was. So cold and hungry, Eric. But Biggs, he, he isn't here. He went off in a different direction to lure away our pursuers. It's me, Sid. Have you any had any success? Tracked for down wedge? That's wonderful news. Now what a Biggs. Biggs. Hey. Because, you know, she doesn't say shit. She's emotes. Can, instead of making noises, can you just, like, make... Are you, you going to just make noises at me, or are you going to say something? Eric, can you be normal for one minute? <laughs> <laughs> I see. Well, it hardly surprises me that big fellow went off as he did. For all the tongue lashings he gives Wedge, he's always taking care of him. I've scoured the area surrounding the Darkhold, but have nothing to show for it. At any rate... We know for a fact that Biggs headed west, with both Yida and Yashtola helping out. I'm sure he'll turn up soon. Now then, I'll make my way over to your position, while keeping an eye out for Biggs. And if wedge. memory serves, there should be an Ishgardian fortification not far to your west. Monument Tower, I believe it's called? Let us meet there. Dare I hope, was that Master Garland you spoke with? E. I don't understand what that means after five <laughs> long years. <laughs> oh, <you're being> <laughs> Thank goodness he's alive. I'm feeling better now, Aerith. Let's go to Monument Tower and wait for the chief to arrive. Wheel. See, it's helpful that we're not streaming too many RTSs right now. We don't have to worry about scrolly wheel problems. <laughs> Those are abundant with scrolly wheel problems. It all depends on the RTS, but yeah. If you're playing like Total War, for example, it's not exactly an RTS, but. Well, it is. It's a hybrid. It's a 4X RTS. No, it's. With a very, RTS with boss. <laughs> with a very crappy 4X aspect nowadays. Or and not a very improved one. It's just shitty tack on. But hey, details. But hey, details. I will never forgive you, Kibo. You can thank Tyler for that. One day when Tyler pops on, you can yell at him. I'll never forgive you for you. Well met and welcome, adventurer. What brings you to this frozen corner of the realm? Oh, it would seem your companion has caught a chill. Come and warm yourself by the fire. I will bring you a hot broth. How are we feeling now, then? Stay here as long as you need. The same goes for you, friend. Tis plain you have ha a hard journey ahead of you. You must find rest when you can. Mm, good. It's Jason Vore. I'm fine now, thanks to you, but I can't bear to think that Biggs is still all alone in the cold with the garlic on his heels. Oh, you know, dirty. He lured the enemy away for my sake, and now he's suffering for it. I hate to have to rely on you again, Aerith, but do you think you could search for Biggs? I haven't the slightest notion where he might be at the moment, but maybe, just maybe, the people here have seen something. 
A Rogadin gentleman dressed in the same manner as your companion? I'm sorry, but he did not come by here. Hmm. Let me think for a moment. I would not raise your hopes unduly, but there is a cave situated at a short distance to the south. We call it the Fury's Gaze, and it may be worth the, uh, the while to investigate. I make this suggestion only because y your friends seem like to s uh, self assort. Rather than drawing the enemy to this tower, mayhap he elected to pass us by. This song is even more obnoxious than any of the other mouth songs so far. It is, <laughs> but it's obnoxious in a good way. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, no. this is terrible. But I mean, it's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Soon, Jetfish Shoom. Oh no. Bad stuff. But now you have your new summons. I do. And I've got them all unlocked now. It would take 15 seconds to uh, be able to use. <laughs> it's, it's honestly it's super weird. I don't know if that changes later on, but it's, it's so weird that you have to just sit there and wait for it to come up, cool down basically after you press the button. Hey. <laughs> Regret says the Batuu thing makes me angry. <laughs> Honestly, the Lollapels have actually grown on me as they fucking. Like, like gnomes. Yeah, like, they're, they're too probably. Like, they're, still, they're still retarded, but. <laughs> they're probably the best gnome race <laughs> that you can get. Careful. They feel My dad might be retarded. watching. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, diaper gnomes. <laughs> Maybe you'll dad come play Final Fantasy. Uh, he'd be a Lollafell. I can tell you that right fucking now. What, what, what was your dad known for playing as, by the but way? Is, when he first played it... WoW, first fucking thing, dwarf. Dwarf, 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 dwarf. Then he saw gnomes being pieces of shit in PvP to the horde, and then he's like, mm, gnome. Gnome, 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 gnome. And then, gnome, gnome, gnome. <laughs> Aerith. Were you able to learn anything? Not in this area. Oops. Well, that stands to reason, I suppose, seeing as he was trying to lure the Garleans away from me. But where within this vast sea of snow and ice could he be? We can't give up, Earth. You must find Biggs before he succumbs to the cold or is recaptured. There must be someone in this tower who can help us, even if it's only to tell us where else to look. Ask them for me. Ask anyone who will listen. And hurry, Biggs' chances of survival grow slimmer by the moment. Uh, going up the steps, going up the steps, come on! Oh, where are you looking? It's up, he's up, there's a little up arrow next to the quest. Trying to get up the fucking stairs. Your friend is lost in the wilderness, you say. If he's not to be found around here or in the vicinity of Darkhold, it is possible he made for Whitebrim. To each it, uh, to reach it, one must travel through the Danafen Pass to the southern end of the Witch of which lies to the north and east of here. While I make no guarantee that your search will bear fruit, it is surely better than worrying for in idle idleness. I wish you luck. Oh, and one thing. Do tread warily when climbing the stairs here. Not a moon ago, I, I near broke my neck when I slept and took a tumble. You don't fucking <laughs> say. Because they don't have any railings. Uh... I think the joke <laughs> is that people just fall off all like the time. They don't... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I just realized Aerith is on the side. I thought 
I don't know why, but I, I thought she was like inside the box. Do you not see her? I do. I don't see shit. Little Aerith on the side. Oh, there. Damn. Yeah, I didn't see it at all. <laughs> it's too much glitter and shine. <laughs> there we go. Our orders are to take you back dead or alive. Which will it be, Engineer? Why don't you come and find out, Tinid? Ah, Aerith, it is well that you are here. The situation is grave. Biggs is in a bad way. We need to... <laughs> She's doing it too. We need to do something right now. Ida right has the right of it. He will perish if we delay. With me. Me. He's not alone. Kill the ball. Hold your ground! Reinforcements are coming! I would have paid for those garland armors. The more the, the merrier. Are. I'll pound you all into the next Umbral era. Ida, less provoking and more pummeling, if you would be so kind. Vanguards! Destroy them! Aerith, stay close to Biggs. Biggs. Is, oh yeah, if, if Biggs goes down, uh, you lose the mission. the last of us. This is the last of us. More than are conducive to merit. Next time, Ida. <laughs> so have a care what you wish for. This is the last of us. Bansky! <laughs> <laughs> uh, my, my thanks. Another moment and I... I was. Ugh. There. Falls over dead. No, he has been too cold in the. Uh, is he has been too long in the cold? We must find shelter for him. As the women are scantily clad, <laughs> monument tower, you say? Very well. Yida and I shall bear him there with all haste. Sid will be so happy to see Biggs and Wedge again. Ah, oh, I love reunions. God, how cold it was out here. And so the chatfish slaves were rallied once more. Forced to carry the burden. I can't remember where we slaves came. Yeah. Look at him. Maybe we become slaves, yeah. <laughs> I won't tell you. <laughs> They've always been. Always oh, yeah.
I cannot thank you enough, Aerith. And the same goes for the rest of you. Thank you all so much. Oh, don't you mention it. We are family, are we not? Well, well, yes, it is just... It's just I didn't think... I didn't think I'd ever see him again. I owe the lot of you my life. And you saved wedges too, Aerith. I'm losing count of how many I owe you. Big Wedge, God, it's good to see the two of you again. Biggs. Chief, it's really you. It's really you. In our hearts, we knew you were still alive, but to finally see you in the flesh. When Athanod told me of the raid on the Waking Sands, I feared the worst what happened. The enemy struck with nary a warning. We didn't stand a chance. Wedge and I were in the workshop when the day came. Before we knew what was happening, the Imperials had us at gunpoint. It must have been awful. There's one thing I don't understand, though. How did the Garleans get there so fast? I mean, the Immortal Flames should have seen them coming, right? I myself have asked the same question. That day when I returned to the carnage at the Waking Sands, I noted not a miss in Horizon. Nothing at all to suggest the passing of an Imperial force. From this I can conclude that the Garleans came neither by land nor by air. Nay, they were born there by potent teleportation magics. Magics of the kind used by the Asians. Carry on. We were bound and blindfolded and bundled into the cargo bay of a waiting airship. I can't rightly say how long we were aboard, but when the time came for us to disembark, we found ourselves in the midst of an Imperial stronghold, Castrum Sentry. Upon arrival, we were marched off into the main complex. Biggs and I were thrown into a detainment cell together, while Menphilia and the others were taken elsewhere. That was the last we heard of them. Castrum Sentry. Drug. What happened next? Well, we were held in isolation for what felt like years, but was probably moons, or maybe week, only weeks. But And then, without warning, the Imperials collected the pair of us and put us on another vessel, which we found out was bound for Garlemald. Much of, to our dread, we knew that if we were taken back there, we weren't like to leave again. So risky, though, it was, we sabotaged the ship's altitude control, and thereby forced an emergency landing, and in the midst of the ensuing chaos, we managed to slip our captors. The rest, as they say, is history. <laughs> ha! If I didn't know better, I'd call that a likely story, sabotaging the altitude controls of an airborne vessel. That will have been Briggs's handiwork. Biggs's handiwork. Like as not. You always were resourceful in a tight spot, my friend. <laughs> Please laugh at his expense. <laughs> Aerith, thank you for returning my dear assistance to me. It would seem I owe you another, yet another debt of gratitude. There are still many questions in my mind, but the answers can wait. Menphilia and the others still want for rescue. All right, you lot. Garland Ironworks is back in business. Let's go and give the Imperials what for. Hurrah! So. Thanks to you, Biggs and Wedge are with us again. Now we must find a way to rescue Menphilia and the others. Gods know we've kept them waiting too long already. Based on what we've learned, I believe it's safe to say they're being held at the Castrum Sentry. So let us convene at Revenant's Toll in Mordahona. Tis a good place as any to prepare, and better than most, the road leading east than south will get you there. When we arrive, let us seek the advice of local adventurers. We're bound to learn a thing or two that will benefit our mission. Let me see where Kid is in the quest line. I think it's 
pretty far into the 44s. Come into my case room. No, I still got quite a few 44 levels to go. Well met, friend. What brings you to Revenant's Toll? Did I hear you rightly? Your friends are being held captive in Castrum Sentry, and you want to rescue them? I don't mean to discourage you, but that might prove difficult. The Stronghold has been on high alert of late, with armored patrols seen about the perimeter around the clock. Not even a fly could get within a hundred yalms of that of the well walls undetected. If the Garleans were alerted to our coming, we cannot know what they will do to Minfilia and the others. We must act with uh, the greatest stealth. Aye, it has to be good old-fashioned infiltration. But with security so tight, how are we going to smuggle ourselves in? Why, I've a mind to ask to walk in through the front door. Huh, the front door? Aye, we will disguise ourselves as Imperial troops and march right in. For this, we'll need a few sets of Imperial uniforms, a suit of Magitek armor, and impeccable timing. Heh, <laughs> that's a bold strategy, but it just might work. Where we are, there's certainly no shortage of opportunities to borrow the equipment. Knowing those Imperial bastards, they won't suspect that we, savage Erosians, would think to use their own technology. Then it's settled. If you're determined to go ahead with this, I'd recommend you speak with Glamont. The fellow's got a personal grudge against the Empire and happens to know a deal about Castrum Sentry. Besides, I've no doubt that he'd want to be a part, uh, be of aid. Yida and I shall go and reconnoiter Garlean activity at the Stronghold. It would not do if somewhat, something were to befall our comrades before we had the chance to act. Come and join us when you're ready, Earth. Let's do this. Sometimes I wonder, Yuda, are there ever times when you're not enthused? I'm not. I'm nothing if not enthused, Yistrola. And you're beginning to remind me of Papalimo. Stealing costumes and sneaking in is probably one of the, the oldest most... tropes. <laughs> right. <laughs> Rope ever. Looking. That one's just funny. <laughs> It's like, I have it. Oh, what's your genius plan? We'll just walk in. We'll disguise ourselves as them and just waddle through the front door. Look, despite the fact that at the beginning of the game, we saw a cutscene where that guy, where a guy who's disguised as them got killed. <laughs> yep, looking That's for Gramont, are you? Well, you found him, whoever you are. Eh, you're looking to get inside Castrum Sentry and you need my help? Heh, <laughs> something tells me we're going to get along just fine. Works in New Vegas as Cow Cow. Only if you don't get caught by one of the officers. <laughs> so you have friends at Castrum Sentry and what want for rescue and that Slaff -bo born knows me too well. Ah, you can count on me at my help. I've got a score to settle with the Imperials and I never pass on an opportunity to get back at the Horsons. But enough about me, let's talk about the strategy. Rescuing folk from captivity right is uh, captivity's right delicate business. A single oversight, just one little blunder, and it's all over. You can leave any room for uncertainty. For starters, you need to confirm beyond the shadow of a doubt that your friends are where you think they are. And you don't want to risk your neck only to discover they've been moved elsewhere. But how can you find out, you ask? By following these instructions. If you approach Sentry from the east, you'll see a swampland to your left called the Tangle. Get in there. Never mind all the morbles and navigate your way to the southwestern corner. You'll come upon a, some drainage pipes coming down from the stronghold. Don't ask me how I know, but one of them leads back up to the command tower. If you listen closely, you might be, uh, might be as you can eavesdrop on some of the happenings within. Once we know for certain your friends are there, we'll move to the next stage of the operation. Now get going and Godspeed. Oh, 
Scroll, scroll, uh, scroll, scroll. Uh, scroll. Uh, Does it put a sense of agony in your body? All right, Binsky, let's figure out how to mod an N64 controller to play this. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I was like thinking of the like... worst controller ever because like Binsky was talking about how that fucking stupid scrolly ball thing was like something he used. I mean, that's dumb. I was like, what would be dumber? The N64 controller. It's ugly. It uh, uh, doesn't make sense. <laughs> what about a left-handed mouse? Left-handed mouses are for men, real men, Giga Chads, if you will, Sigma males. You can do men. And having your right hand on the keyboard. Giga Chad move, Sigma males, as I was saying. <laughs> He's like, you can't just keep saying it. <laughs> These frogs have people faces, and it bothers me. Ah! <laughs> <The> frogs <laughs> got tongued. Ah, no. Got tongued again. I hate this area, by the way. Yeah, they as, like as uh, as two of my worst, as two of my most hated enemies: mud puppies and fucking uh, Broncos. Well, our goal is to speed through this content, though. Oh, you, you never have to kill any of them. I think. I think you're just here to kill the soldiers until they drop uh, the items you want. I don't know what I'm supposed to do anymore. Maybe you're supposed to... <laughs> maybe maybe took a wrong Move turn. Move the map so you can read what it says <laughs> the quest. Investigate drainage pipe. I don't see anything to investigate on this one. Get, get, out, get, off, get, get off your car. Dude, I saw it sparkling. The, could have just been your fucking your. This is my mount. No. It's hard to tell what you're looking at because the. Uh, is it on the other side. Got okay. Yeah, it's it's this one of these over here. But you can't see me. Gaga was asking if he if he should fly Kip to where he needs to go. The cars are. Everywhere. Oh, he's, he's just here. Yeah, it's right around the corner here. Yep. Is that the FF15 car? Yeah, they've yes. done it before and you've asked this question before. Stupid, really? squeewee. I, did, I didn't ask that question before. Yeah, you did. No. Yeah, you did. I didn't. You did. Binsky even knows too. Did I ask that question before, Binsky? I think so. <laughs> yes. You have. So. We were. We've been in the car. There was a stream where we were riding in it. You don't know anything. <laughs> you don't. I was kind of excited because I thought that they were doing uh, an event for that now, and and I went and did it, and I was like, oh no, this is just FF16. I don't give a shit about this. <laughs> the faint sound of conversation echoes down the pipe. What of the captives? Does she still refuse to speak? She may as well be a deaf mute for all the information we've gotten out of her. The others aren't much better. Elysian gets on my nerves most of all. Every time he opens his mouth, it's only to spout gibberish. I do wonder why is the Tribunus obsessed with this Menphilia woman? They say she possesses some mystical power, something we Garleans don't have. Mystical power, like the kind the Beastmen use? How am I supposed to bloody know? If you're so curious, why don't you ask the Tribunus yourself? As well, try to tumble her. I like my head where it is. Thank you very much. Our break is over. Best we get back to our stations. The footfalls grow fainter until all is silent. N64 controller doesn't have enough inputs? It could work. It could work. But you would have to, like never control the camera or uh and you you have you have to like switch between uh keybind sets uh because you don't have the left trigger you only have the z trigger it is good to see you again Aerith. i'm given to understand you have conducted some reconnaissance 
Tell me, what were you able to learn? So, Menphilia and the others are indeed at Castrum Sentry. Their presence, thus confirmed, we may proceed with the mission. While you were afield, Sid took the liberty of devising a plan of action. Pray have the details from him. Good work, Aerith. As Alphanod has already told you, we've plotted out a course for the rescue. The gist of it is unchanged. We disguise ourselves as Imperial soldiers and infiltrate the stronghold. Glamont is looking into ways to procure a suit of Magitek armor. In the meantime, I need your assistance for some preparations of my own. Menphilia and the others are counting on us, Aerith. Let's not keep them waiting any longer than necessary. While Glamont, uh, Glamont uh, goes about devising a plan, we need to see some preparation of our own. It wouldn't do if the Imperials were to discover that they are short in armor. To prevent this from happening, I'm going to put together a makeshift communications jamming device. Uh -huh. The explanation is like to get a bit technical, so bear with me. Imperial forces communicate at a distance via electromagnetic waves. Simply put, voices are born upon etheric lighting, lightning energies that permeates the air. Now, the hail-sized clusters of corrupted crystals to the west has been observed to amplify the self-same energy. By making use of this property, we should be able to drown out the Imperial voices. To ensure that we have enough amplification, we must identify the most potent crystals among the cluster. For this, I need you to go there and use this device to take readings. I'll mark the likely places on your map. Oh, and just so you know, the plasmoids are drawn to lightning energy. Don't be surprised if you run into a few. Toto says, Kibo, did you get the early to rise haircut I had Polly send you? I think he did get some haircuts, uh, but it's not like we've been to the esthetician to change the haircut or anything. What does that mean? Why, why are you telling me this, chat fishy? He's like, I don't know. Uh, press one. Oh, got a little thing. Okay. <laughs> Just got even more annoying. You've made this enemy. <laughs> okay. No, pass one. Was it like a I don't see the where the one is. Mm, it's about it's above, okay. There's, there, yeah, there's like a path on the side of this thing oh, that you can walk up. He's, he's but just go around it. Yeah, he has to, he has to climb up it. You big frog. With froge. I fell down and go boom. Oh no, that's a lot of plasmoids. Oh shit, Don't me. Don't go to me.
No, scrolly wheel, don't be broken. <laughs> ooh, ooh. What sparks Grumpy's interest in FF14? You have the readings. Excellent. Here, let's see the numbers. Yes, four of these crystals should suit our purposes. Though I pray that we won't have a need of their power. My thanks, Aerith. Clean the wax out of your ears. Now, cause there's something I want you to be... Uh, you to do. By the way, oh preparation, the plan to have you enter Castrum Sentry, all decked out in Imperial duds, but a disguise, is more than just the clothes you're wearing. You also gotta act the part. At the very least, you need to know how to perform a convincing Imperial salute. First impressions are everything, as they say. I could teach you the salute myself, of course, but it's best you learned it from the experts, so get yourself near as you dare to Castrum Sentry and watch Imperials doing what they do. Wow. Frivolous back and forth activities. You love it. I love it. So, overall of ARR, how far? Are we percentage wise, if you had to guess? Uh, around like 40%. No! Nah. Uh, the whole thing. But uh, of just the base game, you're pretty pretty close. You're maybe like 90%. 80, 85%, something. You're very close to where I stopped with the story. Oh, I refuse to fight that thing. I'm gonna leave. <laughs> you don't have to. This part's awful because they put these frog things here. Froge. But the, like, I can't say for certain that you are, like, that far away from Heavensward. Because uh, I don't know if the uh, if if the patch story quests are longer, like they have more dialogue and steps and stuff like that, or not. Um, but you're close. Nothing to report, sir. We have received an anonymous warning that insurgent forces are near. We must redouble our vigilance. I shall recommend that patrols be increased. Just nods to herself. A little tard. <laughs> if she's into it. <laughs> I know. But the nod wasn't part of the salute. So did you manage to learn the Imperial salute? No, no, no. Best you don't demonstrate. I'm liable to fly into a rage and crack skulls. I'll just take your word for it. You've learned the Imperial Salute. Time was I took on every odd job offered to me, running messages and culling pesky fauna, like a good little venturer. But I'm well past that now. These days, there's only one thing on my mind, and it's what brought me here. Oh. Talk to you. <laughs> Talk to Chow Chow. He's going to give you a quest. You are called Eratilius, yes? I have heard of your plight from my friend Gallimont. 
As a fellow adventurer and son of Ezria, both, I would offer you my assistance. In order to infiltrate Castrum Sentry, you and your comrades must disguise yourselves as Imperial soldiers. The question is how to go about acquiring the uniforms and helms. There are places a man might purchase them, but individuals who deal in such wares are not the sort to whom you would entrust your secrets. It would be more prudent, I believe, to procure what you need via a traditional means from the bodies of their recently deceased owners. The fortified area of Castrum Sentry never lacks for Imperial patrols. It ought not to take long to obtain three sets of gear, one of each member of the infiltration team, Biggs, Wedge, and yourself. When you have what you need, please return here and allow me to inspect the spoils. Um... Yeah, Grumpy. I mean, we're probably going to be playing for a while, even though there might be a, a, a break at some point, but we'll probably get back to it for the next expansion. I would expansion. say but, it's definitely worth playing myself. But uh, if you both have trial accounts, you can't play together, but you can still play together, just separately. <laughs> and you won't be able part. to do dungeons together. I'm Unless you, one of you yeah, the game. you have to. One of you needs to buy it in order to do that. The other one can play for free, just to make a party of the very least. But just buying the base game is really cheap, and the sub is. It's more expensive now than it was, but it's still really cheap. It used to be seven dollars. Now it's like ten, eleven. My god. But most of the game is single player anyway, so... Well, you don't really start doing dungeons till like... Two hours into the game. I didn't know that Dark Knight has uh, cloud secret repose. I only recently oh. noticed that. <laughs> I thought it was a reference to Cloud initially, then I wasn't so sure. Because it, Dark Knight's more of a Cecil thing than it is a Cloud thing. No. Just killing people, killing lots of people. That's yes. what you do. Urbinski, would you recommend using uh, fire and like fire three and blizzard three over fire fire one blizzard, blizzard one? Uh, no. A, a black mage changes very drastically through the levels, so it really depends on what level you're playing at. But um, fire three is meant to be used when you get the fire starter proc from spamming fire one that oh. makes it free uh, that makes sense but, but if you don't have it what you can do with it is you can use it to swap from ice so when you are in ice you just use fire three instead of using the uh skill that swaps you so it's it just swap you oh, i get it because it automatically grants uh yeah it, it automatically grants okay i get that because uh, for, and I think for Blizzard, you might as well just use Blizzard three because Blizzard one, it, it, like, it's so cheap compared compared to the fire spells. Blizzard three has the same function that it's supposed to like. When you're done using fire your fire spells and you need to switch over, you can just use ice three because it's um, it's I think it's free. 
when you are in fire and have astral fire or whatever. But... I was using transpose to just Give me back. to switch to swap between umbral ice and astral fire. Yeah, that that's you don't want to do that like ever unless you have to. Oh, okay. but that that's only a very you. early black mage thing. Because I was thinking about like, you know, it's it's rather odd the rotation to, to constantly be using transpose. Yeah. Like, okay, so I I, I I didn't think that fire three would automatically give you a, a astral fire three. I thought you it would first take you out of blue and then you have to use it again to get put into fire three. Mm -hmm. I get you. Yeah. No. That helps a lot, Kipsis, actually. Uh, Kips is taking a pee break because we uh, we were blocking him from <laughs> doing the main story. No, <laughs> shut the fuck up. Were you able to obtain the sets of Imperial equipment? There we go. Damage, as I had suspected. In the present condition, I fear these uniforms and helms are like to draw suspicion. They must be repaired, if only superficially. Fortunately, the blacksmith Egenwolf, uh, of the at the Diamond Forge uh, in Rowena's House of Splendor should be able to hammer them into shape in no time. I've already sent word ahead and have been assured that he is expecting you. Worry not, we have already impressed upon him the need for utmost secrecy as to the nature of your mission. But of him tips five dollars say no ludes, Femgar, Reggie. I uh I will get there. Narrow's eyes, the both V pose and distance of Dark Knight reference the cloud. Thank you for the nation. Dumb Thank little bucket fish nerd. He's like I do find the idea of Chekish crying very funny. Hmm, so you're a venturer, Sark Malark. Sent, are ye? I've been Sark waiting Malark. for ye. Now let's see what ye got for me. I see, uh, yes, I reckon I can hammer these back into shape for ye. After all, I owe your friend Sark Malark a favor or two. Took good care of old Egenolf back in the days, before I fell in with old Rowena. He did. Did ye know that he's the son of one of the oldest, wealthiest families in the Sultanate? Wouldn't expect someone like that to end up in the the life he did. But I suppose he's always felt the venturer's life calling him. But here I go blabbering on when there's work to be done. Just hold your horse birds for a moment or two and the great Egenolf will have your gear looking good as new. Oh, that, that, this rotation makes so much more sense now. Okay. And there we have it. Won't do ye much good in a battle, mind ye, but from what I hear, that's not your priority anyhow. Do send Sark Malark my regards, will ye? Sark Malark. It's a good name. And basically use thunder when you're in ice and waiting for it to yep. come back. Have you had the uniforms and helms repaired? Yes, these will serve beautifully. The great Egenolf never fails to impress the quality of these repairs would be fool even Legatus. Thus, equipped, you should not have any trouble blending in amongst Imperial forces, lest you fear the Garleans might detect your uh, foreignness. Foreigners, in fact, form the greater part of the Garlean invasion force in Azria. You see, when the Empire subjugates new territory, it simulates the people of the land into its armed forces. In turn, these conscripted forces are sent to subjugate faraway lands. In this way, the Gar Garlemald nips rebellion in the bud and expands its territory in one fell stroke. You mean 
the Roman Empire. <laughs> the Roman. But they keep referencing the fucking Roman Empire. They just, Empire. that's the Roman Empire, I did it. With that in my part, uh, your don your mission is done. I am full glad to have been full of your assistance, or uh, of your assistance or your cause. Hmm, why would uh, I, a wealthy merchant, wish to help you? I know not where you heard such a tale, but believe me when I say that I am but another humble adventurer, one who believe desires only to act in the best interest of the realm. Good work getting them Imperial Duds. You'll be pleased to hear I ain't been idle myself. It took me long enough, but I finally thatch, hatched a plan to get us a suit of Magitek armor. Now, from what I've seen, Castrum Sentry deploys a Reaper for most of its patrols. Trouble is, the patrols themselves are irregular, meaning random routes and random deployments, and hardly any of them come anywhere near Revenant's toll. So, hoping... Uh, to coax the Imperials out of their shells, I took the liberty of feeding them a bit of the old false intelligence. Told them insurgents had designs on their strongholds. Taint far from the truth, now I come to think of it. Any road, we should start seeing more patrols than we have up till now. What you should uh, need to do is approach one of the patrols, dressed up in your own shiny tin suit, and alert them to the enemy's presence. Having done that, you'll want to lure them as near to Revenant's toll as you can. Like as not, though they'll be wary of venturing far from their own walls. If they do need a bit of extra encouragement, use this smoke signal here. Flitched, uh, filched fresh from an Imperial scout. They'll come running when they see that. And when the cavalry arrives, you hit them hard and make off with their reaper. Simple as that. If I ain't mistaken, these patrols sweep in the perimeter right now. So run along, eh? Oh, and don't forget to salute. And now I have to wear that armor, don't I? Yes. Uh, I do like quest that well, he wears. Well, you don't one. have to take that off. Well, yeah. I think it's only like the hat and the... Yeah, it's just two pieces. Equip, not trade. Oh, because Chow Chow is trying to give you Stop something. Stop trading with me! <laughs> Wait, patience. Okay, we want to give you the KB. Oh my god. Unequip. Just, just do unequip and then. Yeah, that works. No, you don't have to do anything with us. Just put your gloves back on. You have everything you need equipped. Looking like this half-dressed abomination. Yes. Yep. God damn it, I went the wrong way. It's a hurt, Kip. I've never been a fan of these stealth quests. I actually hate them. Just like in WoW has them too, they're also terrible. This is the funny part, this isn't stealth at all, it's just a story quest. Yeah, no, but story-wise it's stealth. It's yeah. only because it's always cumbersome, it's like, you need to wear this. It's like, mm, game, I really don't want it. Remember that Murloc thing in Northrend? That's, well, well mo moderately hilarious, you get a murloc suit. The quest itself is awful. If I remember right. Oh, God. Isn't to dress that just up. part of the... Like the, D the Ditha or whatever they're called? I don't quest know. Line it's the Pita reference. Yep. Uh, maybe it's... I think it's kind of part of that, but... Maybe not there. It's like in that, that area. I just remember being awful. Give me strength. If that was your idea of a salute, you can wave goodbye that promotion right now. 
Oh, what was it? You, you need to do the proper salute, the Imperial salute. Carry on, soldier. Hmm, insurgents gathering to the east, you say? Judging by your description, they are well beyond the perimeter, but I will not have it said that I was remiss. You return to the scene and keep an eye on those insurgents. Should not go our eye, use your smoke signal to call us. Ah, uh, they put these frogs everywhere to test my patience. <laughs> <laughs> I hate frogs. No. Nah! <laughs> <laughs> nah! I feel it does feel like a fucking troll though. <laughs> like there were, every MMO has uh, that zone, that fucking zone where you're just like, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. I don't hate this that much. I just, I just want to get through it because the frogs are annoying. <laughs> Anything that grabs you and the layout of the series also atrocious. It's back and forth like cuz lore. Oh my goodness gracious little Bansky Bansky I think I have to go up. I'm not entirely sure What's your Viking name Bansky? Is it Bansky? Uh, I guess <laughs> I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine with like a little Viking hat now and a little little Viking braided beard. <laughs> Proceed, little bucket bros. It says I need to be level fifty. Uh, uh, gets murdered. Gets fucking railed by horrible fucking. No, that's not at all what it said, but. Yeah, that's probably. I saw number fifty. Happen. No, don't say that's probably gonna happen. Absolutely true. You did see the number fifty. <laughs> I hope you don't mind my joining, seeing as we're sizing advanced, seizing advanced weaponry. I thought it best to be on hand. Ah, there she is. This is the place, but where is the enemy? Sir, over there! Send in the Reaper. Let's make an example of these insurgents. I do like the Garling Officer armor. Looks special. It, it does look special, but it's like... It tickles that edgy 16-year-old part of me, you know? Not edgy 16-year-old, edgy 13-year-old. Keep hitting the Reaper till it stops moving. Put down all of the foot soldiers, then concentrate on the Reaper. A few scratches can't be helped. Hostiles detected. Engaging. It's not easy being an engineer. Damn it! The armor has gone into overdrive. If you value your life, stay out of its sights. Bad guy. Bad guy. Here we go. At last, our very own suit of Magitek armor. Hmm, not wishing to look a gift chocobo in the beak, it does seem rather the worse for wear, doesn't it? Briggs, Wedge, what's your honest assessment? 
Well, there's the fact she's smoking, of course, but looking past that, I'd say she was structurally sound. Hmm. I don't like the way these legs are buckled. I hate to say this, but the servo mechanism is maybe damaged. Eh, but aren't those things protected by ilm thick armor plate? They are, yes, it's odd. The casing doesn't seem to have taken a blow. I suspect we're dealing with a faulty part. Well, whatever it is we're dealing with, we're not resting till it's fixed. Not one wink of sleep, you got that wedge? Uh, you stupid son of a bitch. <laughs> Inkart, Chocobo. I heard that a hall has been set aside for you, our use in Revenant's Toll. That's where we'll carry out the repairs. Look for us there, Aerith. <laughs> ironically that scene made me like those two characters <laughs> it was fucking it just amused me so fucking much <laughs> WM says hope today was good enough for FF14 to continue no the daily quota was technically met by yesterday so we will allow it but yes, it does seem that chatfish are not really attentive today. They're quite... Can't remember if there's a holiday or something ongoing right now. Never can remember chatfishy schedules. April's a busy month. Lion Boomer does two euros. Happy, Austri happy Astrian noises. Well, thank you for the donation. And why would that be, Lion Boomer? Much. The Magitek armor Sid and the others took it inside. Go on in and join them. We've now had time to take a closer look at the Reaper. Our preliminary diagnostic diagnosis was correct. She's structurally sound, but her servo mechanism is faulty. You needn't worry, though. Biggs and Wedge will see her restored to her former glory in no time at all. Give those two something to mend, and they will think of naught else till the job's done. Tis a marvelous thing to pr behold, provided you remind them to visit the privy. The repairs are proceeding apace. It shouldn't be long now before Biggs and the Wedge complete their work. There is, however, one small problem. As you may recall, the, ma the Machina uh, servo mechanism was discovered to be faulty. Wedge has subsequently ascertained that the Magitek core, which drives it, is worn beyond use. Such cores are rather fragile devices, which must be replaced at regular intervals. Thanks to negligence, our Imperial colleagues, however, the one use uh, used in this Reaper was long overdue. Alas, we do ha not have access to a ready replacement here in Mordohona. But all is not lost. Wedge thinks he might, he may have identified an alternative solution. Go and see him, would you? He'll explain the details to you. As I believe the Chief has already informed you, the Magitek Core is worn beyond use. We need to find a replacement. I thought about having it you appropriate more Reapers, but even if the Dunderhead maintenance engineers of Castrum Sentry had remembered to replace their cores, we would risk arousing Imperial suspicion. But do not despair, for I believe there is a solution uh, to substitute the Magitek Core with a Mammet Heart. In case you don't know what a mammoth heart is, it can be used to grant sentience to an automaton. By my reckoning, such a device should be more than capable of regulating the armor's servo mechanisms. We'll just need to make some minor modifications to the housing unit. I've already placed a, an order for a first-rate mammoth heart with the Goldsmiths Guild. All that remains is for someone to go to Ulda and collect it. Oh, and pay and to pay for it. Um, I, did I mention how much they cost? No? Well, well they typically cost something in the order of a um, mumble. 
Hope you don't mind putting the bill. It's for a good cause. Bastard. <laughs> Beginning of the month, keep bills. This is grumpy. Mm -hmm. Well, also finals and taxes. Well, we were made finals our... Until, uh, May. Well, not finals yeah. and taxes. I mean, taxes. That's what I'm going to say. Shh, bad, stupid, squeezy. Don't you ever talk to me anymore. He's like, eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
coming from an influential family certainly has its advantages. But without further ado, let's give it a try. I've already modified the housing unit, so it should slot right in. There, she's ready. Magitek armor, engage. Or not. Uh, uh, she just needs a loving tap, I wager. Have a good night, Dimkeels. Yeah, Dimki. Yes, she's she's alive. Let's take her outside and put her through her paces, Aerith. Would you care to do the honors? Hop into the pilot seat. We'll begin as soon as you're ready. First, I'd like you to try climbing that tangle of crystal yonder as far up as you can go, if you please. Oh, and if for some reason you need to dismount, simply come back here and we'll start again. Apply the magic armor to the crystal mound. I'm not entirely sure what that is. Is Oh, over there. Should be the big thing. Yeah. The big gigantic crystal mound. <laughs> no anomalous movements evident from either leg. Good. Next, jump back down, then sprint north as quick as you can. Oh, that's north. No, a frog. No. I hate frogs. Frogs. And if I refuse, you will die if you refuse. Legs, joints, absorbing all impact without incident. Excellent. Please make your way back, Aerith. Thank you, Bensky. That's a good little Bensky. He's like, no. Watch out for the frog. Not in Bensky. Since he's murdering all the froges, his violent hatred of froge is noted. The torso remains stable during vigorous movements. Excellent. And that concludes our tests. Thank you for your cooperation. Here is a summary of my findings. The drivetrain is in sound condition with some fine tuning. We can expect a noticeable improvement in performance as for the servo mechanism. I'm afraid it's not nearly responsive as it should be, and I'm at a loss to explain why. The mammoth heart is in pristine condition and should be installed correctly. Perhaps its inner workings are too simp uh, are simply too different to operate harmoniously with the armor's other mechanisms. Whereas Magitek cores serve only to conduct impulses, Mammoth hearts enable automata to process the information collected by their sensors as feely gasp. Feelings? Maybe she just doesn't feel like part of the team. In which case, we should all, all do our best to make her feel welcome. For all intents and purposes, they gave the Reaper a AI, I suppose would be the word. Click. Proceed. Mm. Adapt as it felt, I give it my best. I've welcomed myself to a bloody standstill. What were you expecting it to do anyway? Bob us and uh, curt in curtsy?
No doubt you're wondering why this servo mechanism is so important as to warrant the silliness. Without it, the pilot would be required to control the armor's every movement manually. This would be an or onerous, onerous task at the best of times and wholly impractical during battle. Using a mammoth heart in place of a worn Magitech core seemed a promising solution. Alas, the device does not appear to be compatible with the Garlean technology. Wedge, are there no other ways to we might demonstrate our appreciation to our friend here? I'm at my wit's end, Chief. She just doesn't want seem convinced. We should try a little dance, perhaps, or cheer our heads off. Your little dance. Imperials, they've come for the armor. Damn it, they've have us cornered. It's Waddle. There's the Reaper. <gasps> Taken by the traitor Garland. And is that the Icon Slayer? Oh, bollocks. Call for reinforcements. The hells you will. You can't. You can't hear. Just pokes it. <laughs> We've located a stolen reaper requesting immediate assistance. Respond, respond. It's no use, sir. There's some sort of interference. Curse you, Garland. No matter. If we can't reclaim it, destroy it. Bloody hells, Earth. Protect the armor at all costs. I would say the Garlean designs are kind of inspired by like Power Rangers and Kamen Rider stuff. We cannot suffer the enemy to use our weapons against us. You're not undoing our hard work. That's why they look a little bit silly and I'm not at all practical sometimes. Oh, keep them away from Maggie. I I appreciate the sit sometimes. I appreciate the silly this every now and then. They're on their own. We can take them. She's taking damage! It's not good, Bensky. It isn't good. Duty complete. Little clappies. Like, imagine if people walked up to you and started doing that. <laughs> hey, good job. Congratulations. <laughs> oh. These guys killed Imperials. I, I like killing them. Imperials. Chief, look, she moved. And now she's deigned to grace us with her presence. It took us a while, but we're finally ready. It's time to infiltrate Castrum Sentry and rescue our comrades. There, the finishing touch. I don't even, what? I can count the pixels on that. And I think that's a good spot to ramp it for today, I think. 
<laughs> well, little chair fishies, I gotta prepare for the next stream. Thank you for your generous little chair fishy donations, and we'll see you in a few minutes. Good bye, little chair fishies. Temporarily goodbye, at least. Good night. See you soon. Forever for me. Not forever, Binsky. You'll see them literally like Saturday, you little Muppet. That was Friday. 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 Forever. Friday. Forever until tomorrow morning. <laughs> Forever day, maybe? Gosh darn Binsky. Alright, see you later, chat.